because all transactions are protected. Start today. It's free to join, free to post, free to auction, and free to bid at bitbit.co. Buy, sell, bid, or auction everything Bitcoin. That's www.bidbit.co. Bitbit.co. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year's keynote speeches and panels will be announced via the Keenvention blog and Facebook, so stay tuned there for the latest. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keene for Keenvention this October 30th through November 1st. Tickets are available now at a special super early bird price of just $40 via credit card or Bitcoin. That $40 price only lasts through early March, so don't delay. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more and look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. Lock it here for more live content. Free Talk Live is next on the Liberty Radio Network. You're listening to the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Monday, February 23rd, 2015. Gold opened today at $1,206, up $3. Silver opened at $16.51, up $0.27. Cents, and Bitcoin is trading around $236.14. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest, most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. Your job, your home, your car, your money. All of these things provide you with a sense of security. But what about your family security? What have you done to prepare if all of these things were suddenly gone? eFoods Direct has the food security you need for every emergency. eFoods Direct is food security. Go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Beat or call 800-620-5520 and mention Liberty Beat for 50% off their food preparation planning packs. In the news, despite warnings from Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson, there's no credible threat to U.S. shopping malls, according to the agency. Johnson appeared on CNN State of the Union discussing an alleged threat from the Al-Shabaab terrorist organization. Around 100 activists in Emeryville, California, shut down a Home Depot following the shooting death of a woman by two local police officers. On February 3rd, Yvette Henderson was shot after allegedly shoplifting and attempting to steal a vehicle. Activists with Black Lives Matter protested outside the store causing the owners to close for several hours. The activists say Henderson was shot three times with three different weapons, including an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle. In celebration of the launch of the new and improved SovereignLiving.com, every day this week, the Liberty Beat will bring you a simple survival tip that just might save your life. Here's John Bush with today's tip. You never know when the next natural disaster, grid failure, or major weather event is going to occur. It's important to be prepared. Save plastic bottles and fill them with water. After your family finishes a juice bottle or milk jug, clean out the bottle, fill it with water, and place it in a cool dark area like a closet or storage room. Cycle through the water as plastic tends to break down over time. It helps to have a high quality water filter if you plan to be drinking or cooking with the water and it has been sitting for a few months. My family has used this method of water storage and it has come in handy on several occasions as the municipal water supply we were once connected to failed several times. Without the stored water, we wouldn't have had been able to flush our toilet and we would not have had any water for food preparation. The Liberty Bee is sponsored by CoinArch, offering innovative online trading solutions for Bitcoin. Visit CoinArch.com and sign up using coupon code MAX and get free brokerage for the first seven days. It only takes $10 to start an account. That's CoinArch.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Monday, February 23rd, 2015. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. After months of Freedom of Information Act requests, the ACLU has received documents from law enforcement agencies across Florida regarding the use of Stingray cell phone surveillance. The documents reveal that most police departments have been granting themselves authorization without first getting a warrant based on probable cause. When the departments do pursue a warrant through a judge, they often do not specifically mention the Stingray or cell site simulator, but instead use vague and generic terms. 
An Arkansas bill, which would grant local authorities the ability to decide whether or not to fluoridate the water, has passed the state house. The bill was passed with a vote of 60 to 34, after proponents demanded more power to the local water authorities. State Representative Josh Miller said residents have a better opportunity to voice their concerns on water fluoridation on the local level than they do on the state level. In response to growing division and the rise of anti-Semitism and Islamophobia, hundreds of Muslims in Norway encircled a synagogue in the nation's capital. Over 1,000 Muslims rallied for peace between Muslim and Jewish communities. Leaders from both communities stood together, calling for respect and compassion from both sides. The Liberty Beat is brought to you by Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Support also comes from the Texas Bitcoin Conference, March 28th and 29th at ACL Live at the Moody Theater. Join scores of Bitcoin experts and enthusiasts from around the world for talks, networking, and a million-dollar Bitcoin 2.0 hackathon. Tickets are on sale now at TexasBitcoinConference.com. This is the Liberty Beat. For Monday, February 23rd, 2015, I'm Brian Hagan reporting, reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. According to attendees of a karaoke night at Charlie's Bar and Grill, a man 30 seconds into singing Michael Jackson's Man in the Mirror better get his act together and get it together fast. <laughs> from the get-go, coming in late on that first line, singing totally off-key. He needs to shape up and get his head in the game pronto. Honestly, he needs to get serious right now or get the f off the stage. I mean, what does he think this is? Living on a prayer? Claiming that this is turning into a train wreck, eyewitnesses say they are embarrassed for the man who has missed several key words despite staring at the prompter the entire f***ing time. You know, he could hit every last note for the remainder of the song, and I still don't know if that would be enough to turn this thing around. Man in the Mirror is the big leagues, so you better show up with your a -game. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. You may dial in toll-free and bring up anything that you'd like at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. The latest, a variety of stories about ISIS on the way, as well as uh, Boko Haram. And we'll uh, touch on that here in a little bit. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Plus, we've got Skype. You can Skype in at username lrn.fm so feel free to reach out with us or to us rather in the way that is most appropriate for you of course i tend to think skype sounds the best so if you get that as an option please use it again send a contact request to lrn.fm it'll be approved and it'll be easy for you to call from that point forward with you in studio you've got me ian Derek J. And Mark. All right so uh let's jump in here Derek J. there's a story that uh, you were just telling me about just a few moments ago um, I had heard from you a couple days back that the website Seals with Clubs, which I do believe, Mark, were they one time an advertiser with yes. us? Long time ago, like when they were getting started, uh, they came on and advertised with Free Talk Live. Now, Seals with Clubs is a gambling website, or maybe I should say was a gambling website that was probably one of the most renowned uh, in the world as far as Bitcoin gambling. That was all they accepted on Seals with Clubs was Bitcoin, as I understood it. I never actually played there. I don't gamble. This uh, was but, before uh, Bitcoin was considered money by the United States, um, by the way, Well, it, when uh, they started out. Yeah, but all that said, I mean, it's been going strong for quite a while. As far as Bitcoin businesses are concerned, this one's been around for a couple, two, what, two, three years or yeah, something like that? I'd say that's correct. Um, so you would give me the heads up, Derek Jay, that something was happening with the site, that it was down it had closed its doors to some extent that they were going to allow people to pull their money out however so it wasn't as though that they were cutting and running uh with the cash or with the bitcoin in this case but now today there's even more shocking news that has been revealed yeah that's correct uh, well first going to the website the old website sealswithclubs.eu 
uh, turned up a page that was pretty alarming for some people. You know, those full text pages where you expect to see your normal website. You're like, uh oh, uh, they've got some kind of announcement here and they're saying pull out your bitcoins. So what does that mean? What's going on? And then later, people found on a man named Brian Mikan's Facebook page and Twitter account, he had posted some YouTube videos from a tropical location saying uh, that Seals with Clubs was being shut down and that it was going to continue in some other form. And so people were pretty concerned. Uh, but more information has come out. And an announcement at thefreethoughtproject.com has the story where he actually tweeted at this one particular reporter that uh, he had been raided. And so the headline is, man raided at gunpoint in front of wife and toddler oh for boy. the, quote, crime of competing with a casino. Now, in point of fact, he has not been charged with a crime, spoiler alert, but uh, I'll get to the details in just a moment. Begins friend and friend of the Free Thought Project professional poker player, chairman of the most popular Bitcoin website, Seals with Clubs, as well as the host of Dunk Down Radio Podcast, Brian Mikon, which, by the way, Dunk Down Radio Podcast, a uh, friend of the show, Michael Dean of Freedom Fiends, has been a guest on that show several really. times, was raided at gunpoint on February 11th. The warrant was executed on behalf of the Nevada Gaming Commission, while his wife and two-year-old child were present in the home. He's got a, a video explaining. Uh, it's about five minutes long, and it's, I love it's how a little these, creepy looking. Uh, these, uh, you know, like the Nevada Gaming Commission brings in people with guns so that they've got to point guns at people. I mean, well, really, that's what governments do. I mean, they the could, government... but they could do whatever they needed to do without having to point a gun at anybody. Hey, you're going to have to let us in. We need to talk to you. Yeah, they could send a threatening letter, but then they wouldn't get to steal your stuff. I mean, they came well, in for the purpose of stealing his I, I, equipment. They don't need to point a gun at anybody to steal his stuff, right? Yeah, but like, he could go and, like, change things. He could, you know, delete no, files. No, I'm saying whatever. that you don't have to pull it out of its holster, Ian. That's all I'm saying. saying there. Okay. Right? Like, so you're still saying, okay. Gotcha. Uh, you know, having a gun on your hip is just as effective in dealing with the mm. average civilized individual because they're not going to shoot a cop dead right there in their living room in front of their wife and kid. Like, it's just it's just you know, cowboy rootin' tootin' bull crap. I yeah. never get to pull the gun out of my holster and point it at people. That's totally this true. is great. Yeah, he even makes that point in the video saying that if they had called him up, he would have given them whatever they asked for, basically. He was just like, you didn't need to come with guns. You know, you knew, since they said they had been following his Facebook and Twitter account, they knew that he had a family at mm -hmm. the home. So he thought it was excessive that they would have 10 men with guns uh, wow. pointed at his family. Now, this uh, video, does it actually have footage from the raid, or is it no. just him recapping? It is him recapping okay. from Antigua, as he explains. Uh, he he later left, got to someplace safe, and then reported on what happened. Okay. So, um, if they don't, just a, as a point of uh, information here, yeah. if you are having your home raided and you have the privilege of not being in handcuffs at that moment, you should have your hands on a video camera. I mean, ideally, obviously, they may be forcing you to keep your hands up in the air or something like that, but. At the very least, do your best to start some kind of a recording and and get get something on camera if at all possible. I don't. I'm not saying he didn't try this. I don't know what happened. But. Or the audio, at least. Yeah. You know, one would think he would have a laptop around that would have either an internal microphone or a webcam or both that he could have just started running. I mean, at I that certainly time. understand that if they bash your door in with a battering ram. I'm sure the last thing you're going to be thinking about at that moment is, gosh, where's my video camera? So I, I don't blame someone for... Be my first thought. I don't know. Right. Like, well, that's uh, practice. Right. That's yeah. like, uh, I mean, you, you know, you guys, the activists that uh, use video to protect yourselves, it's, you're like, you know... Gunslingers. I mean, that's what the, the what you go for when when something bad's happening. You pull out a camera. Odds are good. His first thought might have been, you know, is my family okay? Yeah. Uh, so, just a point of information. I think that most people are just not used to confrontation occurring in their life. Sure. So they just never think to pull the camera, even though that's what they should be doing. It's uh, you know, the people that pull those cameras and get that that audio and video out there, in my opinion, are you know, they're thinking they're thinking on their feet and they're heroes. The article goes on, many had been wondering what was going on 
as management of Seals with Clubs was leaving and distancing themselves from the website. On Saturday, Brian recorded a five-minute-long video from Mantigua and posted it to his Twitter feed as well as on Reddit, explaining what him and his family had been going through for the past ten days. Mikan's door was broken down. He was handcuffed at gunpoint and led out of his home in his underwear. Okay, so yeah, no chance to pick up anything at all. They they totally put him under detention, but apparently did not end up charging him. That's correct. Uh, they instead seized all of his electronics. Okay. There was also an irregularity on the Seals with Club server hosted in Romania around the same time as the raid, despite the system thwarting attacks attempted in the past. Little information has currently been released regarding the breach, but all Bitcoins on the site remain in place. Wow. And Mikon believes it still to be secure, despite the incident. He says, um, quote, uh, uh, fr- this is via a statement from the website. Effective immediately, Seals with Clubs will cease providing Bitcoin poker and will be shutting down all operations except to allow players' funds to be withdrawn. For a limited period of time, Seals with Clubs is and has been completely solvent up to this point in operations. And I think that's a that's just that's an amazing statement by the website to be able to say that, hey, we're OK. We're in a little bit of trouble right now. Why don't you take your money out while you still can? Because something might be going on. Yeah, it doesn't say I don't see any immediate indication of how long people have to remove the funds. Have you heard about that? No, but okay. it just says like do it now. Sooner rather than later. Yeah. Okay. On approximately and this is also according to the web the website. On approximately February 11th, 2015, several events occurred related to the operational security that we consider to indicate Seals with Clubs now operates in a perpetual state of jeopardy. We will not divulge details publicly, but they may come to light if any team member chooses to come forward of their own volition at a later date. So this sounds like a dual-pronged kind of thing. It sounds like on one hand, you've got maybe some shenanigans inside the team at Seals with Clubs, and that's why the site was shut down initially. Secondly, you've got the raid by the government goons in Nevada. Are they connected? Uh, We'll find out more coming up here in moments. 855 450 free. Share your thoughts with us. Maybe you think gambling should be illegal. And now from the Cato Institute, the Cato Constitution Minute. Recognizing that the Constitution could have flaws or need changing, our founders created a procedure for amending it. While it's difficult, amendments must pass by two-thirds of both houses of Congress and then three-quarters of the states, the Constitution has been amended 27 times. Some have argued it's too hard to amend and that courts should instead reinterpret its provisions. But the framers wanted it to be hard. They wanted to prevent hasty and unwise changes and hoped Americans would respect the stability the Constitution creates. Allowing courts to reinterpret the Constitution to match political impulses would allow an elite group of judges to alter our supreme law without public discussion. Our founders created the amendment system to ensure that constitutional changes would be the product of careful and public deliberation. To learn more, visit the Cato Institute online at cato.org. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common-sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. 
uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what the readers of freedomsphoenix.com get every day. Freedomsphoenix.com, constantly providing the information, the real news about government policies, and the real relationship we all have with the coercive government. The real condition of the economy, innovations in technology, breakthroughs in energy, health, and computer science. Learn the truth well before it's admitted to in the lamestream media. The corporate media, nothing more than distributors of government propaganda, but now there's an alternative freedomsphoenix.com constant news updates on the issues that affect your life in the most important ways with liberty and property under constant attack freedomsphoenix.com provides the understanding behind the propaganda and it encourages the participation of its readers go to freedomsphoenix.com that's freedoms with an s phoenix.com freedomsphoenix.com the revolution between the ears has already happened Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at facebook.lrn.fm. That's facebook.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You are invited here to dial in toll-free. Maybe you think gambling should be illegal and you support this raid on Seals with Clubs. The operator of that website had 10 men with guns come to his house, hold him at gunpoint, and basically terrorize him and his family, ultimately not actually arresting him. They took his freedom away and that they handcuffed him during the ordeal uh, at gunpoint. And they seized his property, but ultimately did not charge him. Derek Jay is giving us the info on the story. We're going to continue to discuss that here. Uh, the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We have a new advertiser on Free Talk Live that I am very excited about. Ian, it was I, I, I you and I tried had a little wine tasting party. Uh, Derek was there. Uh, uh, Derek, Derek too. Yeah, you actually uh, you were much better at sort of knowing the differences between the wines and, and that kind of thing. We got uh, he was also dressed properly for the occasion. Yes, well, Derek is uh, generally dressed properly for these occasions. Uh, it was. Cam- it's Cameron Hughes uh, at chwines.com. And what Cameron does is he goes to these expensive vineyards, the ones that sell 70 to to $100 bottles of wine. That's out of my price range. Right. I've had, I have had, a, I've had bottles of wine that cost that. And I would say that, yes, indeed, these are in that realm, uh, certainly. And what he does is he sort of shops their overstock. Obviously, you're not going to be able to sell as these companies. You're not going to be able to sell every drop, but it would be a very bad move to devalue your wine by selling it under your name. Does that make sense? Sure. What's the point of, uh, for I don't know, whatever these wine, fancy wine manufacturers are, they don't want to have, a, they don't want to give away their product if they're trying to create sort of a baseline for the price. Right. Right. So um, what they do, what, Cameron does is he takes these overages of theirs and bottles them, not with their name on it. So you don't know which one of these high-end vineyards that you're getting it from. Mm-hmm. But I every single one of those bottles of wine I thought was wonderful. Uh, Derek, what were your thoughts? Oh, they were all delicious. It was hard to choose because... Which one was my favorite? Because the next one was always my favorite. I was right. like, oh, this is better than the last. What I thought was interesting is we took a poll um, that was what 
maybe a dozen people tasting the wine, cl- close to that 10, something like that. Mm. And we took a poll, and everybody, it seemed, had a different favorite. That's true. So that means that there wasn't one standalone. It means they were all good wines. And I, I was very impressed. So yes, anyway. a good time was had by all, thanks to uh, Cameron Hughes. Right. So uh, Cameron Hughes uh, wines continually uh, receive awards and accolades. Several of his awesome cabs just received gold medals and were rated over ninety points. Now I don't know what that means, but I do know that uh, you know many of these big name bottles are also rated at ninety points, and his are at a fraction, like seventy percent of what those wines are at. So it's amazing. Seventy percent of the cost, you mean? Seventy percent of the cost. Yep. Okay. So basically, on average, his wines cost fifteen dollars a bottle, compared to seventy and a hundred dollar bottles of wine, which is what they should be if they were labeled differently. So his will come and he'll say like lot 471 okay. or whatever it is and that makes it uh, that, that way you know that you know where it came from. So anyway, except you don't know where it came from. Right. I mean, well you know that it's you can go back and get some more if you like it, right? I see. You can reorder. I got I got you. You do your best. And there's uh what I did was I talked to him and he you know, obviously they want to track how their sales are going. So we're using coupon code FTL, FTLs in Free Talk Live, but if you're going to use a coupon code, you got to give some somebody something. Now, wine's expensive to ship, right? Mm, yeah. Free shipping on Ooh. these great mm. offers if you use coupon code FTL. So you're getting high-end wines at like 70% off and free shipping. You really can't beat that. Where what's the website again? It's C H as in Cameron Hughes Wine dot com chwine.com use code FTL to get free shipping that's exactly awesome right wine. there's a coupon there's the uh, the microphone in the upper right. right hand corner use FTL there it's great news Don't wait all right so uh, Derek J the raid on seals with clubs happened in Nevada which is where apparently the operator was based out of and it just came mere hours I mean a couple days after the business kind of was falling apapart and uh, so I, I don't know if these two events are connected. It certainly seems awfully coincidental that step one, business falls apart, all of a sudden, you know, game's over, get your money out. That's the notice on the front page of sealswithclubs.eu. And now we're hearing there was a a government armed raid that happened just a couple days later. I think I know what happened. No, the raid happened first. Oh, it did. I'm sorry. The announcement happened later. So they were like, let's wait, let's figure things out. Like they had this internal diet. I'm. Oh, speculating wow. here, but I think that they had this internal um, dialogue Shutting among the down. different, yeah, among the different company members because it says here on their website, um, "quote We will not divulge details publicly, but they may come to light if any team member chooses to come forward of their own volition at a later date." So a that would statement. be yeah, but that would be Brian. He came okay. forward at a later date. I see. Now all player funds and data continuing from the website. Remain intact, and the issue was not software-related. We do not believe any of our Bitcoin wallets used in operation to be compromised or lost, which, side note, is awesome. Yeah. I mean, that couldn't yeah. have happened it's, in the old world. Good point. It sounds Goon Squad-related, not software-related, right? So now that yeah. I understand the timeline better, I'm sorry yeah. if I wasn't clear on that before. Yeah. The raid happened. They kept it quiet. Right. And then shut down the website post, you know, what, a few days after the raid or something like that? Yeah. Uh, wow, it's just it's just shocking. So had he had a uh, Nevada-based bank account, you can better believe those goons would have stopped into the bank first. Oh yeah, before they did the raid or did it simultaneously. That way, he would have no chance of actually touching the funds at that point from that point forward. But because it's Bitcoin. The goon squad couldn't couldn't get to it. This is one of the things that really makes Bitcoin special is that you have control of your funds. And what that means is is when some government entity, be it in the U.S. or wherever in the world, decides they're going to kick your door in and point guns at you and your family, they can't take your money. Now, they might be able to take something and ransom your money away from you, but they can't take your money you have to decide to give it to them how much you want to bet they thought they got the bitcoins because they took the computers they took we got uh, his computers we've got the bitcoin well, we'll maybe they we'll did. turn these over to the hacker guys and they'll get the bitcoins well, off now, of them. now wait a minute that's certainly possible you're right mark bitcoin does allow you to control your essentially your 
Bitcoin account, your security around that. And if you don't put security around it, if he just left a wallet sitting open on that computer and then they take that computer back into the office and they plug it in, they may be able to get into the into those Bitcoins. Hopefully he wasn't that sloppy. But it's but he, he can also be the move first stuff around. I mean, he could. Uh, he but if he doesn't have control of the private key, then he wouldn't be able to move stuff around. Now I, again, hopefully he wasn't sloppy and just like oh, I'm going to keep all my private keys on one computer, and then that's the computer that the government comes in and steals. I mean, this would be like the most basic error you could make. So, I mean, I don't know the guy. Hopefully he didn't make that error, and hopefully his Bitcoin wallet is encrypted, meaning that even if they did put plug this computer in. And his Bitcoin software comes up. Like right now, I've got the Bitcoin client running here on the studio computer. You can pull it up. You can see the Bitcoins that are there. You can see my transactions. But if you try to actually send Bitcoins, you have to put in a password to decrypt the wallet. So there's some very simple measures that you can put into effect with your Bitcoin wallet that will protect you from things like this happening. Hopefully, he did those things. Let's talk more about what happened here. You've got more to the story, correct? Yes. All right. This is Brian Mycon. Is yes. his name? We'll come back with uh, what happened with his raid, where his family was threatened by these criminals calling themselves the Nevada Gaming Commission. 855 450 free. You can take control here, especially if you think gambling should be illegal. Maybe you support the raid. It's Free Talk Live. By now, you may have heard a bit about Bitcoins. But did you know Bitcoins are now over an $8.5 billion market? And did you know that over 65,000 businesses now accept Bitcoins? Listen, if you're already earning Bitcoins or trying to make money in the Bitcoin market, you've got to know BidBit.co. Why? Because BidBit.co is where you can easily receive Bitcoins by selling and auctioning off your own personal items or promote business products and services for Bitcoins. You heard right. Whether personal or business, you can now buy, sell, and auction auction your product and services quickly, easily, and securely for Bitcoin at BidBit.co, the first and only marketplace website to offer BidBit escrow, a proprietary technology which gives buyers and sellers security and peace of mind because all transactions are protected. Start today. It's free to join, free to post, free to auction, and free to bid at BidBit.co. Buy, sell, bid, or auction everything Bitcoin. That's www.bidbit.co. BidBit.co. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Gabino lives in Palcapata, Peru. He buys old appliances like irons, radios, and TV sets, fixes them up, and resells them. He saw an opportunity to expand his business and needed a loan to buy more appliances. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan, and the expansion was a success. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time, get a free pound to try out the subscription, cancel anytime, coffee.freetalklive.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free State Project is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a freer, great place to live. It's 
the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community and it's it's only getting bigger. That's amazing to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent. What the Free State Project is managing to do though is to put their money where their mouth is. It's physically getting up across the country and saying let's go someplace and let's demonstrate the power of these ideas. There's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty. There's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it. But here in New Hampshire, people are doing it. 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com, 101reasonsfilm.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Dial toll-free. Bring up what you want. 855-450-FREE. Especially if you are a gambling prohibitionist. There must be people out there who think gambling's a bad thing and you want to see it made illegal or kept illegal. In Nevada, of course, it uh, it tends to be legal. However, because it's legal doesn't mean it's necessarily legal for you to operate a gambling house or casino. You've got to have a permit. you got to have a permission slip from government, uh, the, the, you know, the people calling themselves the state, in this case the Nevada Gaming Commission is what they call themselves. Otherwise, they'll come in and point guns at your head and your family members in order to force you into compliance. We'll continue with the story here about what's happened to Seals with Clubs in a moment. We, I've got a contest going on. If uh, All you have to do is go to demo.freetalklive.com. Is this considered gambling, Mark? Uh, I don't think so, no. Giving prizes away randomly? Yeah, I think that uh, it would be a form of gambling, but not an illegal form of gambling, if that's okay. what you're asking. Um, radio <laughs> shows are allowed to do contests ah, okay. as uh, long as they follow some rules. And uh, trust me, I'm following all the rules. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm giving away three $50 gift certificates uh, to corporate sellout clothing. They've got cool T-shirts with great sayings on them. You're going to love them. Just fill out the survey by going to demo.freetalklive.com. When you do, you have to uh, take the option of giving the email. Because if you don't give us your email, I won't know to be able to pull up. I'm going to do the, the the drawing on March the 1st at noon Eastern. Uh, international listeners may win, but you'll likely have to cover shipping costs. So uh, we'd still love to have your, your demographic information. Even if you can't win or don't want to win, please go to demo.freetalklive.com. Fine idea. Demo.freetalklive.com. So, Derek J., you're sharing with us the disturbing story about what happened with the, the Seals with Clubs, which was a very popular Bitcoin-based poker website. And it had been around for a, at least two or three years, in my recollection. They at one time advertised with Free Talk Live, and uh, they had good reputation, it seemed, in the community. That's why they continued on. It wasn't one of those uh, overnight operations that just sets up and then shuts down and takes a bunch of people's money with them. In fact, even though they are shutting down, they're still allowing their customers to come in and withdraw their Bitcoin. Because, as you pointed out here, even though they've been raided at gunpoint, this man is uh, in his home, Brian Mycon, uh, had his house raided and uh, raided at gunpoint, held at gunpoint, put in handcuffs, the whole deal... Uh, they didn't get his cash. They didn't get his Bitcoin, to be more specific. Whereas, had he actually had dollars in a bank account, he could kiss those goodbye. Right. And if his business was operating on those computers, as I'm sure the Nevada Gaming Commission assumed, he would have to shut down, right? But he's not. He's, gonna, he's not shutting that's, down. No, that's the announcement. That was the first announcement that he made was like, hey, Seals with Clubs is shutting down, but this other thing, swcpoker.eu, is going to continue. And it's not, oh. it is not the same thing SWC as Seals with Clubs. SWC <laughs> is not the same as Seals with Clubs. That's correct. Gotcha. Right, except that uh, it has, has the, the same, same initials letters. and probably the same code. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's probably exactly verbatim the same programs. And what was the new site? The SWC what? Poker.eu. Right. Well, I've done Seals with Clubs, and it's been some time, but I thought that it worked quite well. And was this the guy you talked to back in the day with the, the advertising? I never got his name. Oh, wow. You know, why is That's it? another thing, right? Like, you can buy ads on Free Talk Live. We don't even <laughs> need to know who you are as long yeah. as the Bitcoins come through. Right. The Bitcoins come through. What do I care what your name is? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, a quote from he the just website. just signed its seals. <laughs> wow. However, this event has made the majority vote of the ownership and team agree that shutting down operations is the best move for safety and security purposes. 
So that's the, the final uh, quote I want to read from the website itself, okay. the announcement about what happened. And continuing back to the article from the freethoughtproject.com, Mike on stated that the officers were very familiar with his social feed and were aware of his two-year-old child being present in the home. Mike on questioned— That's why they had their guns out when they raided? Well— you never know when the two-year-old's going to go for a weapon. Yeah, you never know. They they said something to that effect where they said, oh, we've been following your, your feed or we, we follow you on Facebook or mm-hmm. something. So Mike on questioned, to your point, Mark, why 10 men with guns would knock down his door knowing that he's a reasonable person and had a toddler. He was reportedly provided with weak and nonsensical answers on why they didn't just call him or knock instead of performing a raid. <laughs> it's just not as exciting, Derek no, J. I mean, they don't how get often the, do they get to do that? You know, yeah, they don't get the adrenaline. Well, apparently, fairly often, uh, they don't get the adrenaline pumping if they're just knocking on the door, wanting to have a chat or come inside with a warrant. They'd much rather beat it down, which is apparently what they did. They busted the door off its hinges. Mikeon wrote of the incident, "Quote: I hope those agents felt that it was wrong to disturb a happy, peaceful mm. home like that." But I fear it was just another Wednesday for them, and they were just lulzing before lunch. You know, I've read some of the quotes here on uh, one of the articles about this, uh, this one, coinbuzz.com. Mycon sounds kind of a libertarian. You know, he's got that he's got that sound to him. He, he describes them as men with guns. Uh, he sounds like he could very well be, you know, a Free Talk Live listener and a, a liberty-oriented person. And his first tweet about this was to... At Cassandra Rules of the freethoughtproject.com. So that tells you oh. sort of where he's the She's aligned. one of the writers there. Yes. Okay. The article at the freethoughtproject.com continues The officers who conducted this raid know that Mikon is not a violent person. And he was not charged with any violent crimes. He wasn't charged with any crimes. That's correct. Mikon is one of the kindest and most pleasant people that I personally have the pleasure of knowing. This is Cassandra mm-hmm. writing. There is not a single reason or excuse that could possibly validate the state holding this man at gunpoint in front of his family over a passion for poker and technology. And by the way, there's also it's it's a little difficult to know whether poker is considered gambling or not. There are c- cases going through the court system right now. Of course, we have to point guns at people um, while they're they're going through. But uh, the the poker is a game of skill. Yeah, there, so, was a, uh, there was a bill in New Hampshire, actually, suggesting that the law be changed to recognize poker as a game of skill. I don't know what happened with that. It's it's one of the, my, the myriad that, that are up uh, this year. It just seems too, mm, too gamey for them, and they just don't like it. Well, okay. It's money, though, Mark. That's really the issue, right? Like, if, if people are sitting around playing poker without money involved, the government will not really care about that. But as soon as you start anteing up any kind of amount, even penny poker, you then fall into the realm of becoming a gambling operation. And the more money involved, the more likely the government's going to come down and crack down on you. I mean, that's just what it is. It's just like anything else, whether it's gambling or doing any kind of business. Wherever money's changing hands, if the government gang isn't getting their cut, they get real jealous and they'll send men with guns to terrorize your family. Because that's what people want, right? That's when you bring the government into your life and, you know, you vote for them and things like this. You pay taxes. That's what you want them to do to you, right, is terrorize you and your family if you break one of their myriad of rules. It's one of their services. Yeah. This is, of course, what we've all signed up. Oh, wait, no, we didn't. We didn't sign any kind of agreement. They're just terrorizing people. They're doing whatever the F they want to do, and they're getting away with it. This guy should be lucky he did. they didn't shoot his kid or his dog uh, or burn his house to the ground. Thank goodness they didn't arrest him either because he did the right thing. He got the hell out of the United States. Yeah, and I'm glad they didn't stop him at the border also. They could have, you know, uh, this was the Nevada Gaming Commission, not right. the feds. Well, he's not under was... arrest. So, right. I mean, he's basically what they're doing is very something similar to what you might have seen them do in California after Proposition 215 passed that legalized medicinal cannabis where the DEA would go in and raid uh, the cannabis dispensaries. They would just take the pot, take the cash, raid the store, and not arrest any of the employees. They did the same thing here in Keene, New Hampshire. Fat Stuff, uh, the local head shop downtown. They're not even selling marijuana. It's illegal in New Hampshire. But they had pipes and things like that. They went in, took $100,000 worth of their inventory, and never arrested the operator of the store. So the business owners just stuck trying to pick up the pieces. However, 
they are investigating. So they took his equipment. They took his computers. They're likely trying to find a reason to arrest him, but they probably just didn't have enough at that moment. So the fact that he got out of there and now he's in Antigua or someplace like that, uh, good move on his part. We'll talk more about it here. Coming up, uh, the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. It seems obvious to those of us who support freedom that you should be free to take a risk. You should be free to put your money on a bet of some sort and lose or gain. 855-450-FREE. Do you disagree? You can take control here. You can join us here on Free Talk Live. There's more coming up. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. Khalid lives in Gaza. He makes his living as a taxi driver. The engine in his old beater blew up. Now, he makes good money driving people in his cab, but he couldn't afford the $1,300 for a new engine. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the engine, and he's back on the road. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference. One cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. If the IRS has garnished your paycheck or seized money from your bank account, you need to get professional tax help now. Fast action is required to put a halt to these aggressive IRS collection tactics. You can count on the knowledgeable team of tax professionals at Wall & Associates. With over 30 years of experience, Wall & Associates has settled the tax problems of thousands of taxpayers for a small fraction of what they owed. For a free face-to-face -face consultation, call 1-800-425-4610 to put a wall between you and the IRS, 1-800-425-4610, or look for us on the web at wallandassociates.net. We solve tax problems. If you hire Walland Associates today, you'll never have to talk to the IRS again. To stop the levies and seizures today, take action now. Call Walland Associates at 1-800-425-4610. Wall and Associates, 1-800-425-4610. Based on actual cases, results may vary, not a solicitation for legal services. If you're David, a few well-chosen words can help level the playing field with Goliath. I'm Holland Cook from SurvivalSpeech.com. Recently, I saw a Yellow Pages ad for an appliance repair company, and the headline read, Why Wait for Sears? If you're going to the Yellow Pages, the Dead Sea Scrolls of Advertising, you're ready to buy right now. So this is an attention-grabbing message. And how about the plumber whose radio ad says, Call by noon Thursday, and we'll be there Saturday at no extra cost. Smart guy. Most plumbing firms give their crew the weekend off. This one gives them Sunday and Monday off. In the words of a respected advertising executive, cut to the chase, make it quick, and tell me exactly what you can do for me, especially if you're looking for work. For more tips on critical communication skills for the way things are now, hit survivalspeech.com. I'm Holland Cook. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Ross Ulbricht was convicted in early 2015 of running the infamous Silk Road underground market. The Silk Road was a gift to humanity and helped reduce the harms brought on by drug prohibition. For this good deed, Ross may be spending the rest of his life in prison. His family is planning to appeal his conviction, but they need your support. Please visit freeross.org, where you can contribute via various methods, including Bitcoin. Ross needs your help now more than ever. Visit freeross.org. That's freeross.org. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm.
This is Free Talk Live. Coming up, ISIS has threatened to throw Derek J off of the Leaning Tower of Pizza. That's correct. We'll tell you more. I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> There's we'll t- nothing inaccurate about that no, statement. We'll tell you more about it here in a moment. Uh, the toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We've got Skype as well. The uh, Skype username is lrn.fm. And don't forget, you can, of course, join us online, get interactive over at freetalklive.com, and join us in real life at the upcoming Liberty Forum. It's happening March 5th through the 8th. That's less than two weeks from now. And Free Talk Live will be broadcasting live from the Liberty Forum every single night. Flaming Freedom, that is your show, Derek J. Yeah. will also be live, and it'll be super gay, of course, <laughs> uh, at the Liberty Forum during Flaming Freedom. So uh, check it out, nhlibertyforum.com. You can go there. You can get your tickets. They are very affordable. It's an awesome event. It's been going on for years. This is a, the premier hotel convention for the Liberty Movement, as far as I'm concerned. It's, it's a great event. Lots of great speakers. But more importantly, you'll be able to experience what it's like to be among people who care about freedom. Because I don't know about you, but where I came from down in Florida, it was pretty sad. The libertarian movement down there was pretty pathetic. And uh, it was kind of a lonely road. Well, that you know, you don't have to be lonely anymore. You can just come to New Hampshire and join the Free State Project. And, uh, of course, the Liberty Forum is a great excuse to come and check it all out. NHLibertyForum.com, March 5th through the 8th. Go there and get your tickets registered. However, if you want free tickets... Or a free ticket for you. Here's how you get it. You have to meet these three qualifications. One, you cannot live in New Hampshire yet. Two, you can also not yet be a Free State Project participant. So you have, if you haven't signed the Statement of Intent for the Free State Project and you don't live in New Hampshire. And third, you're willing to attend one seminar at the Liberty Forum. Then I can get you a free ticket. And I can get you and as many other people as you need to get free tickets as long as they're willing to commit to that. So there's like a group, a college group from Brandeis University, Mm -hmm. I guess they're in Boston. Uh, They're going to come up with a list of names because none of them are Free State Project participants yet. They're all interested in coming up and checking it out. And they're uh, they're not living in New Hampshire, so they're willing to come and attend this FSP questions session on Saturday during Liberty Forum. It's uh, 1230 in the afternoon. As long as you commit to attending that one session, and you meet the other qualifications, you get a free ticket. That's where I went. I'm going to tell them to drop out. <laughs> well, you can talk to them all if you go to the FSP question session because they're all going to have to be in there. Uh, but if, here's how you do it. You just email me, ian at freetalklive.com. That's I-A-N at freetalklive.com. And I will pass your name on to the organizer and confirm your free ticket. So let's go to your calls and thoughts here. We've been talking about gambling, uh, specifically Bitcoin-based gambling. The site Seals with Clubs been a, has been attacked by the Nevada State Gaming Commission. Kathy, you're on listening in Raleigh, North Carolina, to Talk Radio 850. Hey. Hey, Kathy. Um, I just, my biggest problem, I don't like these no-knock raids at all. Um, there have been too many instances where children have been involved, and too many accidents have happened. Um, but I'm also, with this particular one, I think that our law enforcement and Whatever federal agents are involved in these type of things, I just feel like we have bigger fish to fry. Apparently uh, not. Um, you know, they use these no-knock raids on marijuana dealers. I mean, they they use these no-knock raids on houses where if they find any drugs, it's like an ounce of pot. And many of these low-level uh, pot dealers are some of the most peaceful people you can possibly imagine. So, I mean, they just seem to trot these things out. Yeah. Any old chance they get, uh, but you're frustrated by it, Kathy. Have you ever been involved in one? No, God no. <laughs> but, uh, I, I um, hope I'm, I hope that it continues that way for yeah. you. No, but but it it does frustrate me, especially you know if you're going to tell me about in your next segment. You know, you gave a teaser about ISIS. I think hello, isn't that a bigger problem? Don't we have some homegrown terrorists? You know, here. Well, yeah, they're called uh, the the U.S. federal government. I mean, it's not ISIS that's uh, terrorizing me. It's the federal government and the state governments well, that are the terrorists, in my opinion. Well, and I understand that from your political point of view, and I'm on your side with that. But I guess for me, the more emergent problem is, you know, protecting our 
our community agents, and I'm sorry, but the law enforcement and the federal agents aren't doing it by targeting, like you said, these these pretty much peaceful people that maybe have pot in their homes or are selling it. And I, I told your call screener, um, I mean, one of the things that I, I do appreciate, I actually had a brother-in-law go to federal prison for possessing child pornography. Oh, my. And I don't have a problem with that. I'm like, knock on their door, you know? Get those people Did you know for sure that he had it? Because there's been instances where uh, sometimes it'll be sort of regular pornography and then the police just side that person's under the age of 18. And they call it child pornography when it's not child pornography. Do you know that this is the case or just that's well, the accusation? The, the brother, the brother, my, the relatives did not, I mean, he didn't deny it. I mean, I, I think whatever well, he had on his computer was inappropriate. So maybe I, so, I but don't. I don't think people like that should go to prison, personally. I mean, uh, unless he was actually forcing children to create pornography, I think that's oh, a crime well, when you force someone to do something. Well, I, well, I okay, well, yeah. I agree with you, but I also think the possession of it and the... Um, if sure, but can't there be more compassionate methods to deal with? I mean, if it's a problem, and it certainly indicates if – if they were actually children, then that's there's definitely something wrong there. Um, but if it's a problem, then can't there be a more compassionate way to handle people with that issue than putting them in a cage? I, that's just how I feel about it. Um, I, you know, in this scenario, um, I, you know, I think that – I, I hear what you're saying, but no, I don't have a problem with it because I have my own children. Yeah. And I, I just, I do think that, it, I, well, hold on, okay, you know how there's that, you know, uh, philosophy that when you get back to the drug scenario, marijuana is a gateway drug. It's ridiculous. I, I mean, get, marijuana is not a gateway drug. The studies have found over and over again that, that they're not. But what you're saying is that this might be a gateway towards actually hurting children. And I can understand the fears. And thank you, Kathy, for the call tonight. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's it's very difficult for me to find sympathy in my heart for people that are, you know, running around looking at child porn on the Internet. Um, I think that it's, you know, it's indicative of a sickness. However, um, I would say that you know, like, let's look at this for a second. Who's best served by sending them to prison? Wouldn't we be better off if they, I don't know, were separated from the children in their lives? You know, like the, some kind of probationary situation where you're not allowed to be living in the house with children or whatever mm. and put in some kind of counseling. I mean, surely in the richest country, most modern country on the planet, you can come up with some kind of counseling for somebody who uh, wants to look at dirty pictures of little kids. Um Otherwise, what you're doing is you're throwing up your hands and saying, uh, these people are just messed up. They can never be fixed. I'm glad we found this one. Let's put them away forever and ever. But they don't put them away forever and ever. They just put them away for a little bit of time, and then they release them. And at that point, they're embittered and still have whatever problem they had. Yeah, that's true. I think there needs to be a new Australia, like how the— um, A prison great, colony? How, yeah, great prison, uh, great Britain, excuse me, uh, for that— um, Anyway, yeah, they, they used to send them to, yeah, to, to Australia. I think uh, we could send them to the moon or something, some new place that <laughs> hasn't been used yet. Well, also, Mark, you touched on this, but, uh, you know, what is child porn, right? So there are some people who actually create real, what I consider to be pornography involving children, which is children, people who are not yet to the age of puberty, uh, being forced to engage in uh, pornographic uh, photographs and, and videos versus, let's say, teenagers taking pictures of themselves in the mirror, you know, in the bathroom or in some sort of sexual circumstance uh, between teenagers. I don't consider the latter to be child pornography because there wasn't force involved. And secondly, they're of, in some cases, ages of consent. So, for instance, in New Hampshire, you can be 16 and legally have sex, but if you take a picture of it, you're a child pornographer. And one other thing about uh, babysitters or parents who take photos of their children in bathtubs, which used to be a really common thing, like, oh, no, mom, don't show my date the baby pictures, mm. now is child pornography. It's, it has uh, been. Yeah, it's yeah. been considered yeah. that way. Also, there was a man, I don't know if he was in Canada or the U.S., but he had porn that was completely legal in Japan, 
when he brought it here, Ooh. it was no longer uh, legal. And these were just drawings. These were just oh, images, uh, you know, figures on paper uh, that were and never— that was Canada? Yeah, that never endangered anybody's life. That never—no uh, children were forced to do anything against their will. Right. In, so there's been instances, more than—plenty of instances of people being sent to jail for— Pick drawings, and at that point, you can't even make the claim that's that there's been harm to an individual. It's the thought crime in that particular case. Crime. 855 450 free, 855 450 3733. You don't pe- change people's minds by putting them in prison in general. Shiny badges on your jacket, shiny badges. <laughs> This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. In a trial by jury, the primary function of a juror is not to dispense punishment to the accused. It is to protect your fellow citizens from being unjustly deprived of their life, liberty, or property. As a juror, you can say no to unjust laws and prevent government abuses of power by refusing to convict. Legislative, executive, judicial, the fourth branch of government is we the people. Find out more from the Fully Informed Jury Association at FIJA.org. Are you tired of your taxes funding endless occupations around the world? Antiwar.com is run by people who understand that wars abroad become wars at home, wars on our freedoms. Antiwar.com is dedicated to bringing you the latest in news, views, interviews, and reviews from the top movers and shakers in the anti-occupation movement. Antiwar.com has it all, from thorough foreign policy analysis to interviews with whistleblowers who used to run the military-industrial complex. Antiwar, pro-free market. That's Antiwar.com. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media capital of the world, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Monday, February 23rd, 2015. Silver is trading at $16.33 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,204 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $236. Antiwar.com reports hundreds of Palestinian civilians were displaced yesterday when the Israeli military, with no prior warning, opened a dam and flooded out the Gaza Valley, destroying a number of homes and leaving many under nearly 10 feet of water. Gaza's civil defense officials said the dam was opened without any notification overnight and forced at least 80 families out of their homes and into a nearby refugee camp. It also destroyed considerable farmland in the area. The move appears to have been related to significant snowfall in Israel in recent weeks as Israel decided to get rid of excess water by opening the floodgates and sending it into the strip. Locals in Gaza say such flooding is not unheard of and Israel never informs them before such a move. Civil defense officials went on to warn that while the water would eventually make its way into the Mediterranean Sea, if Israel opens more floodgates before then, the water will flood out even more villages and displace even more civilians. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Bitcoin Not Bombs. Bitcoin Not Bombs is a launching pad for nonprofits and social entrepreneurs into the financial freedom of the Bitcoin economy. Bitcoin Not Bombs is fully committed to being the hub of the nonprofit sector of the Bitcoin economy, maximizing the potential cross promotion of all our clients and commercial partners. To learn more, visit bitcoinnotbombs.com. 
Reuters reports union members ratified an agreement on Sunday that ends a four-month-long strike by some 1,800 workers at Fairpoint Communications, a major landline telecommunications provider in northern New England. Members of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers and Communications Workers of America in Maine, New Hampshire, and Vermont went on strike on October 17th when negotiations broke off. Fairpoint used replacement workers in their absence. Union and Fairpoint negotiators reached a tentative agreement on February 19th, followed by three days of union member voting that ended on Sunday. The union did not disclose the vote total. The agreement calls for a union-administered health insurance plan with improved benefits at a lower cost. Union local representatives said in a statement on Sunday, Fairpoint agreed to abolish a two-tier wage structure and to protect jobs from outsourcing. Don Trementosi, president of CWA Local 1400, said in the union statement, this agreement is a win for our members and for future Fairpoint employees. We went on strike last October because we are committed to keeping good middle-class jobs in New England. A Fairpoint spokesman did not immediately return a call for comment, but on February 19th, the company said the pact would give employees among the best wages and benefits in New England while enhancing the company's competitive position in the marketplace. For over 35 years, Roberts & Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment-grade precious metals. They also take Bitcoin for precious metal purchases and permanently removed the minimum purchase order for all orders paid in the digital currency. Call Roberts & Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing and a forward-thinking approach to new technologies. 850-478-5270 or online at rrbi.co. UPI reports Liberia is reopening its land borders and lifting a nationwide curfew on Sunday thanks to a slowdown in the spread of the Ebola virus. The borders were closed in July and the curfew was imposed in August. New infections of Ebola have dropped to 10% of the amount seen at the peak of the outbreak. There have been 12 confirmed cases in Liberia, 134 in Guinea, and 221 in Sierra Leone the past three weeks before February 18th. A statement on the website of Liberian President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf said the government's actions were necessitated by the rapid spread of the disease coupled with the death toll due largely to continued denials, cultural burying practices, and failure to adhere to health protocols. Recently, many schools in Liberia reopened about five months after they were closed. More than 9,300 people died from Ebola in West Africa. About 4,000 died in Liberia alone. Liberia, Sierra Leone, and Guinea, the countries affected the worst by the Ebola Ebola outbreak have pledged to prevent all Ebola infections within the next two months. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. A new Gallup poll found that the GOP has an overwhelming advantage among young people who look like old men. The poll shows Republicans hold a solid lead among the coveted elderly youth demographic, including 18 to 24 year olds who wear suspenders and bow ties to class every day. I'm joined by Republican strategist Rob Powell. These are pretty encouraging numbers for the GOP, aren't they? Yeah, of course, it's very encouraging. Millennials who look like they're permanently dressed for boat trips are a rapidly growing segment of the population. And according to the survey, the prematurely aged are are also very politically active. Absolutely. Only about 20% of young people vote overall, but there's almost 100% turnout among youth that dress like a dad from a 1950 sitcom. Now, what about the criticism that the GOP only appeals to white men? Not true. We also have a lot of support among sorority girls that wear pantsuits and pearls, paunchy Chinese college students, and we're making inroads among African-American ham radio enthusiasts. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live. Watching into hour number two here. We'll take your calls about anything you want to discuss. You can just dial on in toll free at 855 450 free. Coming up, Derek J has been threatened by ISIS. We will <laughs> tell you what is happening here in a little bit. Uh, we actually had a lady call a moment ago. She had brought up the issue of, uh, I guess, a family member of hers who had gone to prison for what she described as child pornography. And I've actually had in I had in my show prep here a story from the Courier Journal about some teenagers who are, or at least one teenager who is in similar trouble, facing a felony charge, more than one charge, uh, for so-called child pornography. He is 15 years old, 
and he's in eighth grade, which makes it seem like he might have been held back. Yeah, that bit. does have that sound to to, 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 to me too. I, I was thirteen in eighth grade, so I would think yeah. fourteen is usually the higher end for uh, for eighth grade because I was on the younger side of the people in my, in my grade. Anyway, uh, he's 15, and he says he has a seventh grade girlfriend. They'd been dating for a year and a half uh, when they decided to have sex, which they apparently did twice at her house when no one was home. The boy, 15, also texted... It's like that's never happened before. I can't believe that. (laughs) This is news. Uh, The boy, 15, also texted two nude pictures of himself to the girl, who's 13, who sent him one back. And when the girl's parents... They found found her little texting. Yep, they found the pictures on her phone. They took out a warrant in Woodford Circuit Court, and the boy was charged with sexual misconduct. But this, oh, here's what I want to know: is is what has he done that she hasn't? Nothing. She's younger than him, I guess. Um, anyway, that's kind of one of the points of the story: is that the boy gets in trouble, but the girl doesn't. Not that I think anyone should get in trouble for this, but uh, I think it's the older one gets in trouble, not the younger one. And I we've seen situations where both of them have gotten in trouble before. We've so. seen situations where the um, if it's a female and she's older, that she's gotten in trouble too. Yeah. So I think it tend they tend to go after the older one. That's what in I was circumstance. Here. But I, when you're talking about a an old you know a young fifteen and an old thirteen or something like that, they mm-hmm. may be separated by you know fourteen fifteen months or something. I. Yeah, I mean, what? A, do you don't know that your uh, seventh grader is dating an eighth grader that was held back? You don't know that? Maybe that's a parenting issue. The boy was charged with sexual misconduct, a misdemeanor, and charged with possessing matter, portraying a sexual performance by a minor. I bet they, the child pa- porn. These other parents are just so happy that they got this kid. By the way, that second charge is a felony. So he's facing a felony count of possession of child pornography and a uh, misdemeanor count of so-called sexual misconduct. Isn't that interesting? The actual sex itself was a misdemeanor, but the picture of the girl that she sent to him was a felony. Yep. And this is <laughs> how this do you is, reject a picture if it's sent to you? Like, you is it a crime can't. automatically? You would have You're to like, delete oh, it. No, I guess. a felony has just happened on my phone. Without- <laughs> I am now a felon. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Even though B H, as the boys identified in court records, was too young to consent to sex, the minimum age is 16 in Kentucky. He was charged with a crime for engaging in it. Now that's a bit of a paradox, isn't it? The law says that you can't actually consent to sex, and that if someone over the age of 16 has sex with someone who's under the age of 16, that person will be charged with statutory rape. But if someone under the age of 15 or 16 in Kentucky who cannot legally consent does engage in sex, then they are also charged with uh, statutory rape. Yeah, That's, it makes, it makes, makes total sense, makes right? makes no sense whatever. You either have license over your body, sexual license over your body, or you don't. And it sounds to me like these two kids fall in the category of people who are not able to make a decision to have sex, so therefore they cannot be responsible for the decisions of having had sex, except for the obvious one, which is if somebody gets pregnant. He was charged with a crime for engaging in sex, and even though the boy's parents could have gone to the county attorney's office and taken out charges against the girl, just as her parents had done, CW is her or her initials, uh, only BH was charged. So basically, the parents of the boy are better parents. Just and, refusing you know, to go after this little girl, which is good. And if they wanted to do something that, you know, as far as uh, punishing their kids, they understand that they should do that within their own home rather than bringing the police into the picture. This is really just, it, it, this is a testimony to bad parenting, is all this is. In a case that has captured national attention, the Kentucky Supreme Court will hear arguments Thursday about whether voluntary sexual conduct between children should be prosecuted as a crime. You know, this is hilarious when you think about, I don't know where Loretta Lynn is from, but, uh, you know, someplace near Kentucky has that sound, right? Like Appalachia. Um, And, uh, you know, she was that age when she got married to a much older young man and they stayed married their whole lives their marriage had ups and downs but well if you get married under age mark then that legalizes the sex yeah i mean what god this is so strange well because then you've had permission from your parents to get married because that's usually what you have to have in order to get married under the legal age in some states as i understand it 
The case matters to any parent who has a teenage child, says BH's lawyer, assistant public advocate John Wampler, or will have a teenage child. Uh, he says the simple fact is that, unfortunately, many young teens under 16 are having sex with each other and engaging in sexting. Very common. Yep. Yeah. I mean, when we were growing up, sexting didn't exist. Uh, Derek J. Sure you- it did, because uh, there were Polaroids. People used Polaroids yeah. to do sexting. I saw a Polaroid of a friend of mine's girlfriend, buck naked. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and what about the uh, photos that people would take and the one-hour photo people would develop and see? It's a good that point. That was a real danger, too. Um, and also, I know that when I was in high school, a friend of mine at the time had actually taken video of the girl that lived next door to him, uh, which, you know, obviously a creepy thing to do, but teenage boys, um, <laughs> took video of this girl when she was, like, getting out of the shower and stuff like that. So, I mean, was that – did he possess child pornography? Did he manufacture a child pornography in that case? Well, I'd say that he's uh – I mean, he's definitely violated sort of people's, uh, you know, maybe stalking or something. Space. Like yeah, that. like something like that. Um, I can totally see if this kid comes to school with this video that everybody's going to look at it, right? Oh, he was showing it around, man. I know, yeah, I know. I'm surprised he didn't get in trouble because he showed so many people. You know, uh, you're showing I'm up people. Very, very going to open their mouth. Yes, loose on, lips sink ships. On this topic that I brought up before about the Canadian man who had manga, which are drawings, and he was arrested for mm-hmm. child porn. Good news that he was released a few years ago. I'm just reading this now as a quick little update. Uh, He was stopped at the Canadian border. They went through his computer. They found these drawings. Um, And now the good news is he's not going to face any criminal charges. Oh, wow. The bad news, and that's all thanks to the Comic Book Legal Defense Fund. So (laughs) good job them. And then the bad news is that he has to agree that he broke Canadian customs laws. Which is like ridiculous. Okay, no, no crime, but I broke the law. So the customs laws would be he's smuggling in drawings. I don't know. I guess so. <laughs> so it's it's really stupid. I think it's so that they say like, well, we weren't wrong. Okay, mm. no one was wrong. You're here. a criminal. Yeah, you're still a criminal. You're buddy. bad. We're gonna just let you go. But he was being held in prison up until this point, or yeah, it seems that way. The proceeding uh, trial, right? Well, he's lucky. Um, there's been instances like that in the United States, and they didn't get away with it. Wasn't there one with a bar- buck naked Bark Simpson or something like that? I hesitate to say where that incident was. I don't know if that was in the United States or not. That there was an incident about naked Simpsons characters c- causing some legal difficulty for someone at some point because Bart and Lisa are technically underage. Bart's Bart and Lisa, elementary Bart's, schooler. Uh, B- Bart's older than than D- Derek is. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. It's true. The he's, idea of Bart is the character <laughs> of Bart is still the same age as he's ever been since you know episode one. Well, as uh, the drawings have matured a little bit, but uh, yeah, I mean, I remember that from the eighties. Uh, that was on the Tracy Ullman show. Nineteen eighty nine was, I think, when they started that. Wow. show. Wow. I think it was. I think it was earlier than that. Tracy Ullman might have been before that, but I think the series itself was. I disagree. Eighty nine. Well, you go ahead and check check that out there. Pal, toll free number tonight, 855 450 free. If the Commonwealth's position, and did you know Kentucky was a Commonwealth? No. Uh, is held to be correct. Seven. Eight, uh, 19, wow. Okay. Then approximately one third of all teenagers, according to recent statistics, could be charged with a felony sex offense, according to the public defender. That should strike fear in the hearts of every parent who has bought their child a smartphone. Basically, the only thing stopping your teenager from getting charged with a felony, either manufacturing or possession of child pornography, is that their girlfriend or boyfriend's parents haven't turned them into the police yet. That's what it comes down to. You can share your thoughts. 855-450-FREE. That's the toll-free number. Uh, Simpsons premiered in 1989. That's what I was saying, was saying there. But the Simpsons cartoon was on the Tracy Ullman show. And Which they was premiered before in that. 1987. Exactly. 855-450-FREE. You can take control here. Share your thoughts. This is Free Talk Live. Coming up, will Derek J. be thrown from the Leaning Tower of Pizza by ISIS? We'll find out. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Have you thought about owning gold? There are lots of reasons to own precious metals. A hedge against inflation. When the dollar tanks, metals go up. A barter currency. 
You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a currency. Do as I've done for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-2237 for the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As Good As Gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. Free Talk Live. The idea that politicians are leaders. Check your premises on that one. Cutting proof. Really? <laughs> Would you really follow Barack Obama or George Bush? Would you really follow their every command? Would you follow their suggestions? Do you believe that politicians are somehow more knowledgeable than you are? That politicians are of a special group of people? They're a special little critter that uh, for some reason is uh, more enlightened or educated? Constantly you can hear talking heads refer to the authorities or our leaders in Washington, and it's just, it's just patently absurd. I mean, these people are failures at life. That's why they became politicians. Right. Uh, I mean, you know, there's so many of them are attorneys. Uh, <laughs> the good attorneys make, make a money. whole bunch of money and retire with yachts. Uh, the, the unsuccessful ones go into politics. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877 877-357-9938. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at LRN.FM. Free Talk Live. Dial toll-free here, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Join us online over at freetalklive.com, where we have a pound of coffee waiting for you. Yeah, at coffee.freetalklive.com. You sign up for our subscription. You can cancel it any time. You pay the shipping. We'll give you a free pound of the best, of the best coffee. It's shade-grown, 100% organic, and top 1% grade Arabica beans. It's BuzzBox coffee. It's delicious. It's among the best coffee you'll ever taste in your life. Trust me. Try it. It's worth it. We're giving you a free pound. What else do you need? Just go to coffee.freetalklive.com. If you continue to get your coffee through that subscription, we will be able to continue to give microloans to people around the world through Kiva.org. I think it's a really awesome opportunity for us to, to help people in need. 
It's coffee.freetalklive.com, and you can help us help others. Coffee.freetalklive.com. All right, there's more coming up here about ISIS threatening to throw gay people, including Derek J., off of the Leaning Tower of Pizza. And I'm not mispronouncing that, by the way. That's how they wrote it, or at least one of the ISIS folks wrote it in a Twitter update. We'll share more with you about that here. 855-450-FREE. Also, the story from Courier Hyphen Journal, the Courier Journal in the Kentucky, somewhere in the Kentucky area. Uh, Andrew Wolfson reporting on a couple of teenagers who are in a similar situation that many other teenagers are finding themselves in, where one set of parents doesn't like that the other teen is having sex with or dating their son slash daughter, and they uh, call the police because that makes things better, and that's going to help improve relationships between all the families and, uh, and the kids and everything like that. So they call the police. The police come, and they arrest a teenager, a male for, who was 15. Uh, they charge him with a misdemeanor count for having sex and a felony count for having a picture of his 13-year-old girlfriend at the time naked. Now, he also took naked pictures of himself and sent them to her, but the Kentucky Attorney General's office is defending the prosecution, saying they're punishing only the boy, and they're saying that is justified because he initiated the acts and because he had a prior offense for indecent exposure. What does that mean? And how do they know he initiated the acts unless they were there? Well, he did send his pictures to her first, I guess. Oh, so she was just helpless when she saw him. <laughs> she She's couldn't just... help but take her clothes off and take her own picture. You know, this is such an admission of failure on the uh, part of the parents because they are basically saying we can't control our own teenage child we need the government to come in and control right. him for us because she's totally not going to get another boyfriend after this i mean that this is going to stop it right i'd like yeah, to hear more might. about i mean who's going to date a girl whose parents go after them like this i'd like to hear more about this indecent exposure charge this young man got i mean well yeah again that's another uh that, that's another crime that could simply be he mooned somebody out of the back of the school bus i know but that's what I'm saying. I don't know what it means. These things tend to pile up, right? Yeah. Like, you know, you, you, you make judgments about people based on other stuff. This is about, to me, the type of person who thinks first, I got to call the cops. I got to call the cops. Oh my, Someone's making a noise. I got to call the cops. Oh, there's something going on outside. Call the cops. Because there was a guy when I was in jail who had a boyfriend. He was a gay man. It was a consensual relationship. I think he was 19. His boyfriend was 17 or whatever the, the age difference was, 18, 16, I forget. But whatever it was, the state considered it to be statutory rape. And it, all it was was the parents of the younger guy didn't like this guy. And it was like, well, I know what we're going to do. We're going to get the state and throw you in jail. Yeah, we can't control our son and tell him not to have sex with you. So we're just going to uh, get the cops to throw him in a cage. So in New Hampshire, it's interesting. In New Hampshire, you can have a consensual heterosexual relationship at 16 years old, but you can only have a consensual homosexual relationship at 18. Is that true? Oh, I was wondering about that. Weird. That's what that that's as my understanding yeah. of the law. Well, that would I mean, make sense given these two guys' ages. So, going on here uh, with the story from Courier-Journal.com, the nation's oldest public interest law firm for children, the Juvenile Law Center of Philadelphia and the Children's Law Center of Covington, say in a friend of the court brief that criminalizing sexual explorations among consenting teens is bad law and policy and stigmatizes youths. They say, quote, dealing with sexual feelings is an important part of adolescence. And they note that most states impose no punishment or reduce punishment when teen partners are of similar ages but nonetheless there are still punishments involved yeah. and i'm sorry if this well, is an issue it should be between the families how many of us would this have been the case for is this what i want people to, to ask themselves especially males out there that are hearing this is, probably most of the parents who are involved in this would have been you know charged with something probably i mean you know um Young women have sex generally at the age they uh, are comfortable having sex. Young men have sex at the age that young women are comfortable having sex. I mean, you know, like guys would do this a lot earlier. I can assure you that I would have been up for that. And this is just, I, you know, I guess this is just the way things are. Why are we criminalizing it? To the question of possession here, who's paying for the phone bill and who paid for the phone? I would think it'd be Probably the, the parents. Parents, right? So why wouldn't they be charged instead <laughs> of the child? Well, I mean, I, I guess it's good that they haven't been because that would be even no, more they ridiculous. Should be. Yeah, no, they should be so it could underline how ridiculous this is. 
recalling the infamous example of U.S. Representative Anthony Weiner. Uh, the uh, One of the attorneys argues that prosecuting B.H., the young man, for sexting while adults go unpunished for the same conduct is also unfair. He said, quote, while the former congressman sexting, uh, sexting did unquestionably damage his political career and presumably his marriage as well, he did not find himself in jail over his actions. Neither Wampler nor the Youth Law Center say underage youths like B.H. and C.W. should have carte blanche to engage in gratuitous sex without culpability. They say that instead they could both have been referred to as status offenders for counseling and ordered to take classes on sexual boundaries and appropriate interactions with their peers. And certainly that would be preferable than felony charges and being forced to register as a sex offender for the rest of your life, which this young man may be forced to do. Yeah, I think that that would be preferable. But I think what's interesting in this story is is that these two were dating for a year and a half. That's correct. It's not like the young lady just just threw her skirt up and uh, let the young man go at it. Uh, they had been dating for a year and a half. And if the parents didn't like that, they had plenty of time to sort of get in the middle, right? So I heard a little. I've got a little more here, Mark. Uh, to your question about what was the indecent exposure charge. So the boy's problems began more than a year before when he adjudicated on the indecent exposure charge for knocking on a neighbor's door dressed only in a towel, removing it, then fondling himself in front of the neighbor <laughs> when she asked him to go away. Yeah, this kid has a bit of a problem, I'd say. <laughs> Well, wait, shouldn't he be encouraged to be at least, you know, having a relationship where he can take out whatever sexual frustrations that he has in that way rather than going uh, going to the neighbors and exposing himself? <laughs> I mean, one of them seems a little more sexually healthy than the other. Um, yeah, <laughs> I got to say, um, this is sort of what happens when things pile up, right? I don't think that this act that we're talking about with the uh, the girlfriend is in and of itself something that he should be charged with. But this first thing <laughs> I've got to say is, meh, you know, this is something that's going to get you charged with something. So, you know, now you're, it, it's like it, these things pile up and the young man's going to learn that. So he had better straighten up or expect to spend some time in jail as a sex offender. Toll free number here, 855-450-FREE. Coming up, ISIS, or at least somebody claiming to be ISIS, has threatened all gay people with being thrown from the leaning tower of, they spelled it this way, pizza. We're coming up on Free Talk Live. By now, you may have heard a bit about Bitcoins, but did you know Bitcoins are now over an $8.5 billion market? And did you know that over 65,000 businesses now accept Bitcoins? Listen, if you're already earning Bitcoins or trying to make money in the Bitcoin market, you've got to know BidBit.co. Why? Because BidBit.co is where you can easily receive Bitcoins by selling and auctioning off your own personal items or promote business products and services for Bitcoins. You heard right. Whether personal or business, you can now buy, sell, and auction auction your product and services quickly, easily, and securely for Bitcoin at BidBit.co, the first and only marketplace website to offer BidBit escrow, a proprietary technology which gives buyers and sellers security and peace of mind because all transactions are protected. Start today. It's free to join, free to post, free to auction, and free to bid at BidBit.co. Buy, sell, bid, or auction everything Bitcoin. That's www.bidbit.co. BidBit.co. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you you're going to go You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot reach time into the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm me. comfortable here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa. hey, hey, hey. 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 Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is you ain't going to make it. Wait, wait, no. now. wait a minute. Hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Because you're scared of property. What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? Bureaucrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at victimlesscrimespree.com. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. 
Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. This is a national health care alert from the Health Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one suffers from knee pain and have Medicare as your primary insurance, we've got great news. You could qualify for a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost to you. Get free delivery, and all the paperwork is handled by our accredited suppliers at no charge to you. So if you're on Medicare and have knee pain, don't wait. You may qualify to immediately receive a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost. Friendly agents are standing by 24-7 to help you. We also have other pain-relieving braces, too, for your shoulder, ankle, or back. You may be eligible to get these items and more at little or no out-of-pocket cost. Our friendly representatives are standing by now to help you, so please call now. 800-301-2963. 800-301-2963. 800-301-2963. 800-301-2963. You can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Dial toll-free. Bring up anything you want right here at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Maybe you think... Teenagers should be put in a prison cell and labeled as sex offenders for the rest of their life for sexting, which is a very common activity, or for actually having sex. Apparently, sexting is actually more of a serious act to the state than the sex itself, because the sex charge in this case got this young man, a 15-year-old male, a, a misdemeanor, but the naked picture of his girlfriend got him a felony so maybe you think well, that this if it, should happen if it's sex you can always just go and uh, go to church and uh, ask god to make you a virgin again so if you want to share your thoughts you're welcome to do so maybe you want to see this crackdown continue on the teenagers of america 855 450 free that's 855 450 3733 or maybe you agree with the poster over on an isis twitter account and you believe that uh, you would support the throwing of homosexuals off of the Leaning Tower of Pizza. They are threatening you, Derek J. You are yeah. a resident uh, gay talk show host here. Yeah, what is this talk. about? I have not heard this story. Stories from the dailymail.co.uk. Which is a real website, not That's one right. of those fake ones. So, like, I'm shocked. You could, you could argue that it's more of a tabloid site, but they do, you know, cite their source okay. in this particular case. Uh, hapless, and sometimes, by the way, tabloids do some of the best research out there as far as articles are concerned. Is there so. like an American equivalent to the Daily Mail? Yeah, um, the Inquirer. All right. Okay. So I would take them less seriously. Hapless. The Inquirer has gotten a lot of awards. That's for what, what I they mean. do. You'd be surprised okay. at some of the reporting at the the Inquirer. Like they. I guess because they'll job. tell stories that other people aren't willing to tell. That sort of thing. Hapless Islamic State militants have vowed online to take over Rome and, quote, throw homosexuals off the leaning tower of pizza, unquote. In the message posted by a Twitter account linked to the terror group, the ISIS supporter also threatens to bring Sharia law to the Italian capital. It comes just days after masked jihadists warned of their Does intention. this just sound ridiculous to anybody else? Um, like, why would anyone take this jackhole seriously? Maybe someone well, they're hacked ha- their Twitter account. Well, no. I mean, this person has been apparently reposting ISIS-related stuff for a while, and in the more one of the more recent videos from ISIS, or ostensibly from ISIS, they did say they were coming for Rome. So oh. this is kind of one of their newer themes: is that they're Why going after Rome. 
Yeah, it's oh, around the it's around the Mediterranean. It's They're closer just kind of moving than the around US. the Mediterranean. Okay. It comes just days after mass jihadists warned of their intention to conquer the city in a video that showed the mass beheading of 21 Christians in Libya. We talked about this video on Free Talk Live. Um, I did obs- I did watch the video. I. I'm of two minds. On one hand, I really don't want to see it. But on the other hand, I do want to see it because I want to see, you know, what this is. I want to see if this is legitimate. Is this for real? And I'm convinced. I know there are some conspiracy theorists out there that think these videos are just some kind of Hollywood makeup special effects. And I don't believe that for a moment. I mean, this is mass well, murder at first, and decapitation. I really, at first, I really wondered with the hostages when they would, uh, you know, have the kind of cutting at the neck and there'd be no blood. Yeah, and those then, were weird. And then they'd just show like a head on top of a body. Right. I thought that was very strange. That would have been easier to fake in those cases. And there were a few videos like that in the beginning. But since then, they've had the video of the airmen, uh, the 15 Syrian airmen, I believe it was, that were decapitated in one video. And now this with 21 people, well, uh, Coptic Christians have being they decapitated. Shown, just out of curiosity, have they shown any of the Western hostages actually being beheaded? Not that I have seen. I think that's that part's still interesting. Well, again, we don't know where all the videos are coming from. Maybe there are different aspects of ISIS. Maybe it's all the CIA. I don't know. I don't know what the source of either. this is. But the video sure looks convincing of the uh, the mass beheadings. And then, of course, there was the one with somebody being burned alive as well. So I'm not of the conspiracy theorist mindset. Like, I'd rather see some evidence before I believe something. But couldn't it be? And, you know, now I'm starting to wonder, what if ISIS is so disorganized that the CIA puts out some videos, claims to be ISIS, and they're like, yeah, yeah, that's us. Like, look how great we are. Like, to where ISIS actually <laughs> yeah, believes it? Yeah, they're like, oh, yeah, that, that was our brother group over there in uh, Libya somewhere. You never know, right? Like, you know, how, how do you know if there are undercover agents who aren't investigating other undercover agents? I mean, wow. like, you know, here in uh, in the United States with different activist groups being infiltrated by un- undercovers, how do, you know, how do the undercovers keep it all separate, especially if they're coming from different policing agencies? How well, do they know? haven't there even been incidents where they're trying to do a sting operation and then they're, they realize that the other person is also is a one of theirs. Sure, they're like, yeah. oh no, almost killed the wrong guy. So rather than spark widespread panic, the threats have triggered a flood of mocking responses with dozens taking to social media to make fun of the jihadists and their takeover plans. The original quote here from Abu Abdullah Britani, uh, at Abu underscore Britani 2 on Twitter, quote, we are coming, O Rome. This is the hashtag. We will conquer and establish the justice of Pound Sharia. We will use your leaning tower of pizza, (laughs) P-I-Z-Z-A, to throw off homosexual. And then another update from the same account. We are coming with slaughter. And the threat posted, uh, that threat apparently was posted today, or I guess when this was written, which was two days ago. The message was soon followed by another one, which read, as I mentioned, the terrorists have previously thrown men off of buildings for so-called being gay. Earlier this year, images emerged that appeared to show militants hurling one man off a building in the tower of Tai Abyad in Raqqa as a supposed punishment for having a supposed homosexual affair. This most recent threat appears to indicate that terrorists intend to bring their barbaric practices to Europe and to repeat the horrific scenes off of the leaning tower of Pisa. The, it appears the tweeter is unaware the tower is in Pisa, not in Rome. The hash, which I didn't know that, by the way, would make sense by the name, right? Right. Uh, the hashtag, we are coming, O Rome, with underscores in it, has been used by Islamic State supporters to discuss plans to reach Rome after the city was mentioned in a sickening video released earlier this week. Now, Derek J., as the uh, resident gay uh, co-host here on Free Talk Live, yes. are you finally ready to get behind the military here? I mean, they are threatening you. ISIS is coming for you, and they want to throw you from the top of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Uh, are you ready to support military intervention because Obama is ready to go? He wants to help you. No, I, I, I don't. No, no, absolutely not. I don't. I don't support You're that. You're not scared. If people. No, if they are scared, maybe they should go and fight ISIS. Like, if you're worried, if you're one of those gays out there who's like, oh, no, they're going to throw me off of the tower. I got to go stop them. Go ahead. I won't stop you. <laughs> but um, I'm imagining I want- a band of bears and twinks <laughs> arming up. Oh, I in well, leather. <laughs> but the, don't forget I, Stonewall. Um, I, well, I, here's what's going to happen. Stonewall riots. They were violent gays. Oh, they, fighting back from the oppression. Finally, it's like the beginning of this gay rights. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, 
well, I think that what ISIS is doing here is really unwise. At some point or another, they're just going to raise enough ire that people are going to go and stomp them out. Um, I just, I mean, you know, I'm getting annoyed by these people, and it's going. I'm going to care less and less who goes in and starts dropping bombs on them. No, I think who goes and drops bombs is important. I think that's all that matters because I don't want to be that person. I don't want yeah, to have to pay for to do it. With that. You know, and if people do want to do that, I won't stop them, but don't make me a part of it. Let's go to Dennis. He's in New Jersey. Dennis, you're on Free Talk Live. Hello. Hey, you're on the air. Listening oh, via okay. uh, Free to Air Satellite. You, yes, that's right. Yes. Uh, I'm wondering if any of you guys have comments about the census uh, questionnaire that they send out. They, mm-hmm. uh, they call it now the uh, American Community Survey. Yes, I definitely have comments on that. Uh, I say don't fill it out. What do you think, Derek J? Oh. I don't know anything about it. It's like a mid midpoint kind of census thing. You know, the census is only supposed to happen every 10 years, but the Census Bureau— I didn't even de- fill out the first one. Yeah, the Census Bureau has decided that rather than collecting information every 10 years, they want to collect information more often. So they've come up with another survey that's not called the census. It's the American Community Survey. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Did, they, did they give you a check when they sent it to you? No, no, no. Then throw well, it in the garbage. They, they, they give you a threat that if you don't <laughs> fill it out, uh, you're going to be fined and arrested or something is going to happen to yeah. you. Well, they it's... say it's required by law, and then when I Google it, it seems like it might might even be uh, unconstitutional. Yeah, it's unconstitutional because they can't require a person to work without paying them. It's called slavery. Stand by, Dennis. We can continue the discussion if you want here because I've had some experience refusing the census people. I've refused the actual census, which is supposedly constitutional, and nothing ever came. Of, uh, you know, nothing ever came of it. They came back once. Eight fifty five four fifty freeze the toll free number here. You can share your thoughts. And I'll try to dig up the video of what happened when the census worker showed up here at the studio. It's Free Talk Live. So the protection of life, liberty, and property is, is what the Free Surprise is all about. But it's an, it's an effort to move 20,000 people who understand. It's about demonstrating to the entire country. That, yeah, we can have a free market, a truly free market. Making it just a free, a great place to live. It's the world's largest voluntarist libertarian community and it's it's only getting bigger that's amazing to be able to move to a place where other people like passionately believe in being free and independent what the free state project is managing to do though is to put their money where their mouth is it's physically getting up across the country and say create the power of these ideas there's a lot of kind of philosophy that surrounds liberty there's a lot of thinking about it and talking about it but here in new hampshire people are doing it 101 Reasons Liberty Lives in New Hampshire, a documentary by Free State Project Early Movers. Watch it free at 101reasonsfilm.com. 101reasonsfilm.com. This is Dan Pillen. Do you have the IRS How can I help you today? Pay? I am going to be recording this. Tax debt's crippling yes, you. Yes, so smart. And that doesn't bother me. So okay, if you want to record, that's totally fine. Sure. I can help you My too. name is Kathleen Hello. Kelly, and Hi, I'm Kathleen. with the Census. There's and no such thing as a hopeless kid. Have you lived? Oh, I need for to get no paid. tax to finally get free of it. Oh, I, I don't know if I'm going to take any Rams papers from you, but oh, that's fine. It's just an problem. information sheet. I, I'm not no interested tax. in participating, and the reason why is because no the federal website, government is an agency of coercive down. force. It's I don't no appreciate the, the things that they do. Uh, oh, what about your not available to I'm not interested in being represented in a violent, coercive monopoly. But what about together by Get massive discounts on millions of popular products. Counting how many people we don't know how many people we need. I don't need anybody in there. I'm not interested tablets, in anything that they cars, do. They aggress against sports, peaceful people, and, and I can't in any way support an organization delivery. like Check that. It out. But what about people who believe in peace and work for today at TogetherSafe.com? Yeah, that seems a little contradictory to uh, believe in peace and work for an agency. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. 
FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. You may dial toll-free here at 855-450-FREE. You can join us via Skype as well at username lrn.fm. Just send a contact request on over if you haven't yet done so. Uh, it will be approved, and it'll be easy for you from that point forward to call us on Skype. You can also easily support the show by sending some Bitcoin our way at bitcoin.freetalklive.com. You'll find the Bitcoin address there. You can send whatever Bitcoin you like. You can also send Litecoin, by the way. We still have the Litecoin address there. Um, in fact, if you want to buy Bitcoin and Litecoin, as well as Dogecoin, you can do that from expresscoin.com. It's the best choice for getting your cryptocurrencies. It's fast. Fast, safe, easy, and inexpensive. They're a licensed money services business, and you can get your cryptocurrencies with money order, check, or wire transfer. It really doesn't get easier than ExpressCoin.com. Whether you're in the United States or in Canada, it's ExpressCoin.com. Plus, they also have a smartphone app that you can download at ExpressCoin.com. And when you place your order, if you use coupon code FTL, you'll get up to $40 worth of your cryptocurrency with no fee at all, which is an amazing offer, especially if you've never bought Bitcoin before. Now you can actually buy Bitcoin up to $40 worth and pay no fee. So no brainer. Expresscoin.com. Coupon code FTL. Like Free Talk Live. We're back with Dennis. He's listening via free to air satellite in New Jersey. Dennis, uh, thanks for hanging on. You received what is called the American Community Survey in the mail recently. This was uh, sent to you by the Census Bureau, and you were kind of surprised. Yeah, well, you know, years ago, the census, when one talked about census, uh, you were questioned about how many people lived in the house, and it really went no further than that. You just said, yeah, two people live here, three people, and that was the end when of it. When was that? I, I mean, it wasn't in my lifetime, but I'm fairly well, young. So. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm 70, so the, 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 it was in my lifetime. Wow. Okay, because right now the, the census, as of 2010, is very lengthy. There's not oh, just yeah. that well, one well, question. Well, now what we're getting, what we just received, is about 10 pages long. It takes about an hour to fill out, and it's as personal as personal can be. Wow. They, they want to know everything in the world about you. They want to know how much you're making and, and what jobs you had and, and at, at, uh, how many times you brush your teeth in a day. It's like ridiculous what they're asking you. And, yeah. and, and, and you know what they're saying? They're saying that this information is necessary for planning schools, for planning hospitals, and for fixing roads. No, it doesn't make any sense at all. Sure it does, because if you oppose it, then you hate roads and schools. Yeah. That's, yeah. How, that's what it's designed to uh, be. What they, happens if I just ignore it? Well, from what we can tell, um, the you know, and people have asked this question over throughout the years, is that there is a supposed penalty for this, but that nobody has ever been charged with it. Yeah, Absolutely. we actually. Yes, that's what I'm reading. That's what I'm reading on the net. It seems like the penalty is a hundred dollars, 
but no one ever has been penalized. We actually had one of our listeners kind of walk us through what was happening with him, uh, and, and he actually went through this American Community Survey thing where he refused it, and then ultimately nothing happened to him. And I have refused the census itself, which you could argue, that's constitutional. Uh, I have refused to answer question number one of the census, and they didn't do anything but send us, send a representative back. There was one person who came the initial time. I recorded video of that. I posted that to freekeen.com. They sent somebody else a few weeks later or whatever, and I recorded that as well. And they had informed her that I would be recording the uh, the encounter. So she knew what to expect. She handled it very, very well. I turned down all of her offers of paperwork and information and whatever it was she was trying to give me. And I was very nice about turning her down. But uh, ultimately, nothing happened to me over that. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. Yeah, I actually, the census worker came out to my house. And what I did is I sat down with her with a piece of paper and I got her something to drink. And uh, every question that she asked me and wrote down the answers, I asked her... Uh, um, I would, you know, ask her first and get the information. So I found out about her husband and where she lived <laughs> and how many dogs she had and all these nonsensical things they asked. I answered all of her questions. I just wanted her to know how weird it was, how absolutely strange it is to go into somebody's house. Someone you don't and know. Ask these questions yeah. of them because, you know, it's it's really odd. And she she answered all your questions. She did too? answer all my questions. She was she's a strange lady too. Uh, you know, <laughs> what if I would have turned this over to some some lunatic like she's going to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you yeah. go, Dennis. Good luck. Let us know if anything happens, but I expect it won't. And thanks for listening to Free Talk Live there okay, on uh, Free Air Satellite. I appreciate that too. Much. No problem. It's very uh, very rare that we'll get one of those folks calling in, but they are out there. The people listening to us on what is called Free to Air Satellite, which you can do uh, learn more about how to do that over at sat.lrn.fm. If you're in North or Central America. And you get a view of the southern sky. You can order a very affordable dish and receiver set. Hook that thing up, and you got 24-7 content coming from LRN.FM, which, of course, includes Free Talk Live, Flaming Freedom, and so many other great shows. So that's how that gentleman was listening to us tonight. Cool. cool. Uh, so our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Harry is in Nashua listening to WSMN. Hello, Harry. No, that would be Perry. Perry, Perry. Mason, Perry Como. Welcome, Perry. Sorry about the mistake. Go ahead. It's all good. It's all good. It's, it, it, somebody was just saying, oh, it, 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 drop bombs, drop bombs on ISIS. And I, it, please, please do. It's No one on this show was saying that. Somebody just said that before the last break. Someone said drop it, bombs it, on ISIS? I think Mark said he wishes somebody would. It Ooh. would make me feel bad, is what uh, I yes, said. Yes, but, but if somebody wishes they would, but whoever does, whoever does, guess who's going to be buying them bombs? Exactly. The United States. In all and, likelihood, that's the case, yeah. And that's the case. And, and there goes our $19 trillion, or almost 19 up to $20 trillion that we owe for whatever. Yep. Well, I don't know any of it. I'd like to point out I didn't acknowledge or consent to that money uh, being spent, and I don't and have Nor a did I. Nor did I. Yeah. It, it, there's too much money being spent on, on nonsensical things, and, and you know, it's, I've been unemployed for going on almost 10 years, and it is uh, don't spend much as long as I got breath in my air. All of those trillions could have sure have done a lot better for the country if they'd been in the hands of the people who earned it so they could create new jobs and opportunities and entrepreneurs. Yeah, and yeah. so so I wouldn't be sitting here eating at a soup kitchen and being down in my bunker where there's no heat, no nothing. And, but every day that I wake up, even though we have had storm and then Mother Nature gave us a day off and then another storm and— up here in Nashville, New Hampshire, it is just relentless and relentless, and everybody's getting sick and tired of it. But it's, as long as you can wake up and breathe air, it's a good day. It's a good day. Thanks, okay, Perry, you for your call deal. tonight. I appreciate hearing from you. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. I guess that's a generally a true statement, but not if the air is 
uh, is weighed down with the the I, I guess the aftermath of bombs exploding outside of your house and you know the, well, the soot better, in the air. Better than the alternative. Um, I, I wouldn't. It's not going to be a good day though. I'm the, sorry. No, well, not if you're cleaning up bodies. No, nope. d- depends on how good. you want to look at it. Um, I, it's going to be hard to look at that as a positive thing. Marcus. I think it's I mean, interesting. I, look, I like to look at, on things. Being positively. alive is, is, in my opinion, better than being dead. It's good to be grateful, no doubt about it, but. Don't tell me you're going to have a good day cleaning up your family's bodies. It's just nope. not going to happen. I wouldn't like that very yep. much. The, um, you know, it's in, kind of interesting. The idea that the federal government prints this money and then sort of gives it away to rich people and those that make weapons and all this other stuff that they do. What would it be like if they just printed the money and gave it away to the people who are on the bottom? You know, it, it, there's all this concern. Lots of uh, beer and cigarettes probably going to get purchased real fast. Yep, certainly, uh, there'd be lots of stuff. But talk about trickle up, trick, trickle up economics. I mean, that would be very helpful for the economy. Be far better than what they did. I'll give you that. Yeah, it would be better. I mean, I certainly don't support government handing out money. I don't support them taking it in the first place. I certainly don't support them printing it. But I do agree with you. If you have to choose. Uh, giving that money to the people in the United States makes a lot more sense than giving it to the military-industrial complex. There Share you your go. thoughts with us here. 855-450-FREE. You know, I actually pulled up the video of me and the census worker. It's kind of entertaining. I might play that for you here in a little bit. You're welcome to share your thoughts. And maybe you have been a census uh a census, what's re- refusenik? I guess that would be the right word. A census refusenik, somebody who uh, refuses to participate in this. You're welcome to share your experience. But yeah, I've never heard of anybody being prosecuted for it. I've heard of some grumpy census bureaucrats showing up and trying to encourage you, maybe threaten you in some way, but ultimately there doesn't seem much they can do about it. I had a very easy time with it. It happened to me when I was living in an apartment building in, in Philadelphia and there was a person with a clipboard at the door and a bunch of papers at the floor of the apartment complex saying, oh, hey, have you filled out your census forms yet? And I was like, uh, no, I don't live here, lady. See ya. <laughs> Shut the door. <laughs> All right, there's more on the way. Toll free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. We'll come back with more. Your thoughts are certainly welcome. And uh, more about the census or ISIS, because there's some more disturbing ISIS-related news. Uh, They've got child soldiers that are now training for jihad, apparently, in a new video. It's Free Talk Live. Yep, that's right. They're starting them early in ISIS. It's Free Talk Live. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. Gabino lives in Palcapata, Peru. He buys old appliances like irons, radios, and TV sets, fixes them up, and resells them. He saw an opportunity to expand his business and needed a loan to buy more appliances. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan, and the expansion was a success. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel anytime. Coffee.freetalklive.com. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Nesquik. Try Nesquik 4-Packs, perfect for lunches and great for kids on the go. Look for it in the juice aisle. Snack time is a great chance to sneak extra calcium into your child's diet without making him feel like he's eating something he doesn't want. Serve up dairy-rich foods like smoothies, flavored milk, frozen yogurt, and string cheese. He'll love the treat, and you'll love knowing how good it is for him. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. 
This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Monday, February 23rd, 2015. Gold opened today at $1,206, up $3. Silver opened at $16.51, up $0.27. Cents, and Bitcoin is trading around $236.14. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest, most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. Your job, your home, your car, your money. All of these things provide you with a sense of security. But what about your family security? What have you done to prepare if all of these things were suddenly gone? eFoods Direct has the food security you need for every emergency. eFoods Direct is food security. Go to eFoodsDirect.com slash Liberty Beat or call 800-620-5520 and mention Liberty Beat for 50% off their food preparation planning packs. In the news, despite warnings from Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson, there's no credible threat to U.S. shopping malls, according to the agency. Johnson appeared on CNN State of the Union discussing an alleged threat from the Al-Shabaab terrorist organization. Around 100 activists in Emeryville, California, shut down a Home Depot following the shooting death of a woman by two local police officers. On February 3rd, Yvette Henderson was shot after allegedly shoplifting and attempting to steal a vehicle. Activists with Black Lives Matter protested outside the store causing the owners to close for several hours. The activists say Henderson was shot three times with three different weapons, including an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle. In celebration of the launch of the new and improved SovereignLiving.com, every day this week, the Liberty Beat will bring you a simple survival tip that just might save your life. Here's John Bush with today's tip. You never know when the next natural disaster, grid failure, or major weather event is going to occur. It's important to be prepared. Save plastic bottles and fill them with water. After your family finishes a juice bottle or milk jug, clean out the bottle, fill it with water, and place it in a cool dark area like a closet or storage room. Cycle through the water as plastic tends to break down over time. It helps to have a high quality water filter if you plan to be drinking or cooking with the water and it has been sitting for a few months. My family has used this method of water storage and it has come in handy on several occasions as the municipal water supply we were once connected to failed several times. Without the stored water, we wouldn't have had been able to flush our toilet and we would not have had any water for food preparation. The Liberty Bee is sponsored by CoinArch, offering innovative online trading solutions for Bitcoin. Visit CoinArch.com and sign up using coupon code MAX and get free brokerage for the first seven days. It only takes $10 to start an account. That's CoinArch.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Monday, February 23rd, 2015. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. After months of Freedom of Information Act requests, the ACLU has received documents from law enforcement agencies across Florida regarding the use of Stingray cell phone surveillance. The documents reveal that most police departments have been granting themselves authorization without first getting a warrant based on probable cause. When the departments do pursue a warrant through a judge, they often do not specifically mention the Stingray or cell site simulator, but instead use vague and generic terms. An Arkansas bill, which would grant local authorities the ability to decide whether or not to fluoridate the water, has passed the state house. The bill was passed with a vote of 60 to 34, after proponents demanded more power to the local water authorities. State Representative Josh Miller said residents have a better opportunity to voice their concerns on water fluoridation on the local level than they do on the state level. In response to growing division and the rise of anti-Semitism and Islamophobia, Hundreds of Muslims in Norway encircled a synagogue in the nation's capital. Over 1,000 Muslims rallied for peace between Muslim and Jewish communities. Leaders from both communities stood together, calling for respect and compassion from both sides. The Liberty Beat is brought to you by Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Support also comes from the Texas Bitcoin Conference, March 28th and 29th at ACL Live at the Moody Theater. Join scores of Bitcoin experts and enthusiasts from around the world for talks, networking, and a million-dollar Bitcoin 2.0 hackathon. Tickets are on sale now at TexasBitcoinConference.com. This is the Liberty Beat for Monday, February 23rd, 2015. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. 
Calling it the most effective means to reaching one's full earning potential, a new report issued by the Employee Benefit Research Institute this week found that violently slamming one's supervisor against a wall and shouting cash, I need more cash, is still the leading tactic for securing a raise amongst American workers. We found that employees have the most success negotiating their salaries when they stride confidently into their supervisor's office, manhandle them like a rag doll, and demand more money right now. Experts confirmed that the majority of employees who managed to increase their salaries maintained direct eye contact with their supervisors while reiterating that they were not f***ing around, emphasizing their position with phrases such as, give me the money now, and I said more cash, old man. The Onion sat down with Kevin Simmons, who recently applied these methods in negotiating a competitive bump in his annual salary. So the other day I walked right into his office, grabbed his throat with my hand, and told him straight up, start paying me more f***ing money today. And I grabbed a hundred bucks out of his wallet and told him that was a good start. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, and of course, you can bring up anything you'd like at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733 as we launch into the third hour of the program. With you in studio, you've got me, Ian, Derek J, and Mark. Check out Derek's website. It's derekj.me. Now, I saw on your to-do list, Derek, because, well, we live together, and I see those things. Um, yeah. But I saw that you were uh, planning a big overhaul for the website. What's going on there? No, I'm just so behind on updating blog posts. You know, people can go to derekj.me, and mm -hmm. it will link to all the projects that I do, but there's some... Uh, other interesting stuff, like a couple episodes of Flaming Freedom that I haven't yet posted there, so people can go slacking. to flamingfreedom.com. It's not slacking. I'm working all the time. <laughs> it's true. You are. You work uh, almost full time over at the, the thrift store. Yeah, and I have to focus on the stuff that makes me money because DerekJ.me is just a fun pet project where I put all my fun media stuff. So. And they are good. It's great media, by the way. Flaming Freedom is now coming up on episode four in its current iteration, I believe. This week will be episode four, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. That's right. You guys are just having way too much fun on Thursday nights. And it's great. if you can't catch it live, then eventually Derek J will put the audio up at DerekJ.me. Uh, of course, you can go to Flaming Freedom. I believe Flaming Freedom. Com yes. is uh, still a place you can go for. It's, are, are the archives up there? The video archives yes. are up, right? As well okay. as the uh, MP3s. So oh, great. Can check that out. Oh, so the MP3s are up on flamingfreedom.com, but they haven't made the trip over to derekj.me yet? That's right. Got it. So derekj.me, though, is kind of the hub for all things Derek J, whether video, audio, or blog posts. You've got it all there. Yep. I love it. I got nothing check more to out. say. <laughs> check it's it just... out. DerekJ.me. Hey, real quick, I did say I might play this, and then coming up, Mark, you've got a story. Tease it for me. What is it? Um, it's a story about a young man who was uh, in college and banned from certain areas of the campus because he looked like somebody's rapist. Talking about that, here's the video from the census. This is about five years old now at this point, because, uh, again, the census only comes out every 10 years. But now, as our last caller pointed out, they are sending out and have been for years, by the way. This American Community Survey thing is nothing new. It's been going on for quite a while. I don't know when they started doing it, but certainly sometime, you know, we've, we've been talking about it over the last decade on Free Talk Live. Anyway, so this is the actual census bureaucrat. This is a different bureaucrat than the first time. I'm not playing the first video where I kind of surprised the guy with the video camera. This is the follow-up. So the first time the dude came by, I said, I'm not participating in this, and I was as nice as possible about refusing his questions and refusing the census. And then he went away. And then later, Kathleen showed up at my front door here at the LRN.FM studios. And this is what happened. How can I help you today? I am going to be recording this. Uh, yes, this I was encounter. warned. Okay. <laughs> she was warned. And that warned. doesn't bother me, so <laughs> okay, if you great. want to record, that's totally fine. Sure. My name is Kathleen Kelly, and Hi, I'm with Census. Oh, she looks ready. And have you lived... Oh, I need to give you... I guess not. Oh, I, I don't know if I'm going to take any papers from you, but... Oh, that's uh, fine. It's just an information sheet. I, I'm not interested in participating, and the reason why is because the federal government is an agency of coercive force, mm -hmm. and I don't appreciate the things that they do. Um, well, what about your representation? I'm not interested in being represented <laughs> in a violent, She's coercive out for monopoly. You. Indeed, but what about in the House and the Congress and stuff like that? Without counting how many people, we don't know how many people we need in the House of Representatives. I don't need anybody in there. I'm not interested in anything that they do. They aggress against peaceful people, and I can't in any way support an organization like that. But what about people who believe in peace who are there? 
Yeah, that seems a little contradictory to uh, believe in peace and work for an agency that is inherently uh, based out of coercion. I understand true, what those folks uh, might be trying to do, but I don't see any increase in peace coming from that organization at all. Do you? Well, I'm hoping for Obama, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'll bet she is. But she really, I mean, she's being genuine, I feel like, here. You know, she's but she's actually, not listening. No. Well, she's agreeing with what I was saying. Like, yeah, it's coercive. Okay. She was sent to get that thing filled out, and that's what she's going to try to do. Yeah, she's trying. I but... mean, her response was like, indeed. But what right. about we need to count as many people? <laughs> I mean, she was prepared with a few objections. She right. was like, I'm going to get some objections from this guy, and I need to have some back pocket retorts. I thought she was good, though. Like, she, you know, didn't get upset. She obviously was ready for the camera, and uh, I think it was pretty entertaining. There's a little more here. I haven't seen any evidence he's interested in, in PC either, and... So it's uh, it's hard. I, there's no way I could possibly consent to participation. Okay, you won't answer any of my questions. Not even how many people live here. Can't help you. Okay, um, then that's cool. Thank you for being civil. Hey, thank you. I, I was, appreciate your cooperation. Um, you're my first refusal, so I'm very scared. But you were very nice. <laughs> All right. Um, did you want to look at anything I have for information on why we're doing this? Not anything? particularly. Okay. I have no that's interest cool. in the federal government at all. That's cool. You know, yeah. I can understand that. So, respectfully, have a great day. Hey, you too. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. Wow, she was pretty nice. Very pleasant. Very pleasant. And did you notice she gave me a little bow at the end, which was kind of nice That's Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is she from <laughs> New Hampshire? No, she's not. <laughs> but you was know. she with FedGov? Was she from DC, or was yeah. she a New Hampshireite? Well, she's probably from New Hampshire, working for DC. What they did at the time was they hired people as temps. I don't mm -hmm. know if you recall, right. but actually there was a Free State oh, Project yeah. participant who took work <laughs> from the Census Bureau, and uh, so they, you know that's one example of what could happen if you refuse to participate in the the census. I don't think they're going to even send somebody around if you refuse to participate in the what's called the American Community Survey. I doubt you're even going to get a no. knock on the door. Well, uh, what happened with Bile when in that circumstance? Nothing. Like they just send it to him and nothing, nothing happened. Nothing happened, if I'm recalling correctly. Okay. Yeah. So I just thought I'd play that, just to give you an example of how things could go for you if you're in a similar circumstance. So do keep that in mind. And there was, by the way, a, a video that precedes this one, which is also fairly entertaining because that guy is caught off guard. And uh, it's also pretty interesting. So I'll link to the article, which has them both in it, over at our Facebook, Google+, and Twitter. You can access all of that social media for Free Talk Live by going to news.freetalklive.com, and that'll take you to the various different links to those places. Again, that's news.freetalklive.com. She uh, was warned about you, Yes, yeah, she was. You know, were you, like, I, and scared isn't the right word, but were you nervous? Were you acting at all in that video? Like, you sound really uninterested. Were you, like, amping up your, your tone a little bit? Like, yeah, I really don't care about the federal government at all. I don't know if I was. I mean, I, it was five years ago, so I couldn't really tell you exactly what my uh, demeanor was. But I, I think stick I was does sound genuine. a little different, um, you know, like. That just isn't. I don't think you would have answered the ways that you answered today. Yeah. Really, it yeah, sounded it like a, a wall different. talking to a wall. I mean, <laughs> you, both of you were just not <laughs> hearing each other. You, you know, went your separate ways peacefully, but yeah. there was no exchange of ideas really there. Well, you know, she did. I think she brought up a couple of good points. She did seem to resonate with the idea of peace. She seemed right. to like that. I think she was genuine in her appreciation for the idea of peace and her. Uh, responses seem to indicate that she had at least heard me in yeah. that way. Whether she really processed what I was saying at that time, I don't know. She was hoping um, for the peace candidate. Well, she was hoping, and at that time, Barack Obama was two years into his presidency at that point, and so you know, my response was, well, I haven't seen much peace from him yet, so you know, when are we going to get that? And uh, you know, it is what it is. And I feel like I was genuine in, in my responses. Okay. And I don't really feel like it would be that different today because I'm still not interested in the federal government. And that's essentially what I told her. I don't want to I don't want to support them in any way, shape or form. That hasn't changed. I just thought that the, uh, the, the use of the term coercion isn't something that you do as often these days. Let's talk to A.W. in Bozeman, Montana. You're on Free Talk Live, A.W. Hey, guys. How you doing? Hey, what's on your mind tonight? Well, you know, I want I, I listen to you guys regularly, and I'm, I'm interested in what you talk about and your your views and stuff. But I wanted to see. I, I don't. I don't, I don't re recall uh, your guys' stands on like this. This the vaccines and they're, they're uh, they hear talk and they're trying to make it mandatory. And I don't want any government vaccines, really. But 
you know, I can't give a, put my girl in school if I don't get them. And you don't want to put her I in school at, anyway. <laughs> you know, I, I hear you on that. I, I wish my my wife could just homeschool her. You know, that would be Do my it. dream, really. Well, why not? I, I know. Well, th- certainly, well, I would encourage difficult. you to keep your your child out of government school as best you Few could. Things but I understand. Doing are easy. I do understand why parents are put in that position. Um, and, uh, you know, Ian, it's just, it doesn't resonate when you're not the guy with a kid. I understand got a kid. it would be very difficult for me if Laura died and I had to sort of figure out what to do with Jack. And, um, yeah, sure. you know, that would be really difficult. But I think that, uh, yeah, I'd like to talk to you about uh, our stand on vaccine or my stand on vaccine. Stand by AW. We'll bring you back for that. Also, uh, you can share your thoughts on whatever happens to be on your mind. The crazy story from the college campus that Mark has to share about a uh, man being, what, banned from someplace because he looks like a rapist? Yep. 855 450 free. More continuing here in moments on Free Talk Live. Here's a special message for those of you who owe the IRS at least $10,000 or more in back taxes. The IRS has special programs in place that could eliminate or reduce your tax debt by thousands of dollars. Call the tax helpline that has been set up to help you. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. Stop the wage garnishments, levies, and tax liens now. Once you've qualified and enrolled, the IRS will stop all the collection activities against you. These unique programs have been allocated to help the economy and significantly reduce or eliminate your tax burden. The IRS is currently accepting reduced settlements and other favorable programs. You may qualify for substantial savings, so get the help you need. For free information and to see if you qualify, take down the number now for the Tax Representation Hotline. 800-691-6129. That's 800-691-6129. 800 691 6129. Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all time high. The stage is being set for the re emergence of gold as the common sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard hitting report that arms you with the truth you need from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-2237 for the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As Good As Gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. You can help by joining the AMP program for just $5 a month at amp.freetalklive.com and getting perks. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. 
Rats is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download Rats free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. You dial toll-free if you like. Take control of the airwaves here. Bring up anything disturbing story out of a college campus here about a young man being banned because he looks like someone who is a rapist. 855-450-FREE is the toll-free number. Plus, uh, yet another disturbing story about ISIS and child soldiers. Well, first, though, we go back to your calls and thoughts after telling you about the Texas Bitcoin Conference, where we're going. Mark, you and I, we're going to be there broadcasting live. It is the second annual Texas Bitcoin Conference happening again in Austin, though this time in downtown Austin, which I'm very excited about. Uh, last year, it was kind of on the outskirts of the city. Now it's in the heart of downtown at the Moody Theater. It's happening March 28th and 29th. You can be there and you'll learn a lot about Bitcoin and you'll get to meet the movers and the shakers, people in the business who are uh, the doers. Like people like Vitalik Buterin, Charlie Shrem, Robert Murphy, Jason King, David Johnston, George Gilder will be one of the keynote speakers. He'll be He's a uh, world-famous investor, economist, and author, plus Sambala Nair, IBM's architect of their blockchain technology, uh, will be there as well. So we we'll look forward to seeing you in Austin, Texas, March 28th and 29th. Go grab your tickets and learn more about the event over at TexasBitcoinConference.com. Use code FTL, that's FTL like Free Talk Live, to save 25 bucks off of the uh, already very affordable $150 admission price. And I don't think we've mentioned this, Mark, but it seems uh, probably because it's obvious, yes, you can pay for your tickets in Bitcoin. Oh, yeah. The Texas Bitcoin yeah. Conference. Um, so you get the discount either way when you use code FTL. Knock 25 bucks off the uh, the regular price. And another 25 bucks goes to Sean's Outpost, which is a great Bitcoin-based charity helping homeless folks. TexasBitcoinConference.com. We will see you there March 28th and 29th. Don't forget to use code FTL when you order your tickets. AW, back with us here in Bozeman, Montana. Uh, AW, you had called asking about Free Talk Live's various positions on vaccines. And Mark, you were sort of jumping in on that one. Yeah. Um, so I think that the pro-liberty standpoint on vaccines is, is that uh, you should not be forced to take any medical procedure that you don't want to take. Um and that's really what it comes down to. I think it parents have to sort of step in as proxies for uh, their kids up to some point. And I'm not exactly sure what the age of a kid is. I'm going to guess, say, 12 or so that they should be able to make medical decisions for themselves. But they really can't make financial decisions for themselves because they don't have any money. So, um, you know, there's that uh, there's that dynamic, too. But I don't think that uh, you should be forced to vaccinate your child if that's not what you want to do. Derek J., what do you think about vaccines? Fortunately, I haven't had to think much about it because I don't have any kids and I don't remember taking any vaccines. So I know I, I got them think as a kid. I don't think I got a bunch. I remember getting them as a very small child. I'm, I'm certain I got them back then, but I don't remember getting them after any point after that. I never got like the flu vaccine or anything like well, that. Well, my exposure to them today is my friends who have young children who they're like, oh, we got to get our kid, uh, you know, the cocktail of vaccines for school. And it's like, do you? Why? I mean, because someone says so. Why are you even putting your kid in school? Well, a lot of like, schools, they're mandating the vaccines in order to get them in the school. Yeah, well, I don't like that. I think your school should be able to do that as long as your school doesn't receive my mandatory tax dollars. Mm. Yeah, but it's like, wh why put your kids in these schools to begin with? What's so great about them? Not a damn thing. A they, a w, they, go ahead. They. Uh, one thing I wanted to say is they, they scare you into not getting vaccines, and then they scare you into getting vaccines. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like sometimes, like, you know, I mean, I've, I've researched it a little bit, and, like, one of these head CDC whistleblower guys said, yeah, it's completely false. All the information and the data is all skewed. Just because they take in government money, they got to make the, the reports look the way the government wants them to look. And the whistleblowers come out, and they start saying— no, it's all screwed up, you know. And it, 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 now the whistleblowers are saying the government information is screwed up. Is yeah, 
Yeah, but you're right, yeah. though. It's fa- it's fear-mongering on both sides, right? So, like, the right. vaccine supporters are, you got to get vaccines or you're going to die. Your kids will die. Right. And then, of course, the, the vaccine-opposing side is saying, you can't have vaccines. Your kids might die. And so there's, it's basically kind of similar on both ends. Yeah, if, if there was a uh, measles epidemic sweeping the Northeast or something like that, I'd be m- pushing much harder for Jack to get a measles vaccine. Is it too little too late, then? Can you uh, Does a vaccine do any good once he's come down with measles? No, not once he comes down with it. I said I didn't say if Jack got the measles, I would try to get. I know him. that I'm just asking you. I'm not a medical expert, so I don't know how this stuff works. No, um, but I, I. So I mean, if if you wait too long, I think the argument would be that then there's going to be a rush on it, and so then they're not going to sure, be available. That be the, right? That would be an argument yeah. for it. Um, but I would. For instance, when you're talking about polio, it's been eradicated in the North American continent and the South American continent, as far as I know, too. So every medical procedure has risk, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's obvious. Uh, Children die from circumcision all the time. So, you know, you you have to weigh the value of something. So if you get a polio vaccine, there's a chance of uh, some kind of uh, side effect or whatever that might be. But the chance of him getting polio is nearly non-existent. So why would you get a polio vaccine? Yes, like how bad, like, okay, I I remember watching like old Our Gang videos or movies when I was a kid and and they showed kids that had the measles. You know, people got the measles. They didn't die from it, but people are dying. Some people die from the measles, there's no doubt, but it's a really small number. Mm. Right, but I mean, you get the measles vaccine, like some of these these outbreaks that happened. I heard there was some college campus that had an outbreak of measles and whatnot. And they said that most of the people that got measles had the vaccine. Hmm. That's interesting. AW, thanks for the call tonight. I appreciate it. Toll free number 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. I wouldn't get the uh, vaccine for my, uh, I wouldn't necessarily just, you know, run out and get a vaccine, but I also wouldn't uh, take my child to one of these like chicken pox parties. What are you? What, no. What is a chicken pox Where party? Where everyone gets chicken pox at the same time. For if the you purpose know. of. Yeah. Not getting it again. Yeah, right. the idea? it's kind of like it kind of makes sense to me because chicken pox is really painful and could be deadly later on in life. So, yeah, sure. But it's easier for young children to, to get just through sort it. of deal with it. Yeah, I guess I don't know what's the idea. Well, that yeah, there's what's less wrong coverage? with that? That sounds like a good idea. Why wouldn't you get the vaccine? Uh, I I don't know. This chicken pox party sounds like a fine idea because then you because create then an immunity sick for to several. Yes, yeah, so is the vaccine to some extent. Yeah, that's the idea. But it doesn't always work, and it can cause, like, shingles or something, which is, like, chicken pox for adults. The vaccine? Yep. Yeah. I think pretty much everybody's got the—every adult has the shingles virus, as I understand it. I'm not a medical expert. All yeah. right, Chris, you're on in Oklahoma listening online. Go ahead, Chris. Hey, guys. Welcome. Um, I, I, was, I talked to you all uh, was a couple of days ago about vaccines, about the— uh, about the liability and the risk that the uh, manufacturers uh, don't they don't assume the the legal uh, liability. Yeah, they're yep. granted immunity um, from liability by the the federal right. government. Yeah, so I made I made some phone calls to them to try to get them to answer the question of of why the CDC doesn't bring pressure to bear on the uh, you know manufacturers to to drop that liability because if you if you look at the, um, you know, the VARS, which is what the CDC uses for reporting, it's the reporting. Um, it's the, I think it's, I, I don't know the acronym. It's like the, the uh, vaccine accounting and reporting system. Um, you know, if you take into account that only a small number of people would, you know, report, and out of those, even smaller number would be, um, you know, have the resources to go through with a lawsuit, then if you take that into account, they would only have like a low liability or a low risk of, you know, relatively speaking. Yeah, it's disturbing that they, uh, that they are not you know, held liable. They don't have the liability. Most other people are. Chris, thanks for sharing tonight. More on the way at 855 450 free. It's Free Talk Live. Hey there, Guns80.com continues to surprise us with low prices and high-quality Ghost AR-15 rifle kits. At Guns80.com, Ghost AR-15 kits are an even better idea than buying at gun shows or through private parties because the Ghost AR-15 kits at Guns80.com require no background checks, no registration, 
They don't even have serial numbers. That's what I call privacy. Go to guns80.com to order your Ghost AR-15 rifle kit. No dealers, no hassles, ship direct. Guns80.com or 844-2-GUNS-80. That's 844-248-6780. It's no secret that government and big business buy in bulk and get huge discounts not available to the little guy. Until now. Introducing a breakthrough crowd buying website where people can join together, buy in bulk, and get massive discounts on millions of popular products. It's togethersave.com. Togethersave.com. You can save 20, 30, or even 50% off tablets, smartphones, cars, appliances, textbooks, sports equipment, video games, and much more. All with free delivery. Check it out. Togethersave.com. Visit now and start group buying today at togethersave.com. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keen, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year's keynote speeches and panels will be announced via the Keenvention blog and Facebook, so stay tuned there for the latest. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 30th through November 1st. Tickets are available now at a special super early bird price of just $40 via credit card or Bitcoin. That $40 price only lasts through early March, so don't delay. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more and look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the realtor Mark Warden. Do you want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers too? Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. This is the Onion Week in Review. According to sources, all 6.5 million residents of Indiana spontaneously formed thousands of perfectly uniform rows throughout the state Monday morning and established a collective consciousness. Saying, we are Indiana, the new hive mind talked and moved in unison with citizens working together to build a massive geometric superstructure in downtown Indianapolis where they would gather to sleep, breed, and feed. All the for Indiana. The collective state went on to report that soon Ohio, Illinois, Michigan, Kentucky, and Canada would all become Indiana. Persons close to Phoenix area friends Jake Welter and Mike Seflin confirmed Friday that the two men are absolutely incapable of greeting each other like normal human beings. Sources say the two full-grown men simply cannot walk into a room and shake each other's hands, relying instead on elaborate dances, forced pop culture references, and extended fake fighting. Neither Welter nor Seflin was available for comment as they were busy pretending to rip each each other's faces off. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Of course, you can join us on the phones toll free at 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. We've got Skype as well. It's Skype username lrn.fm. Feel free to reach out in that way if you like. Uh, we're talking, or we're going to talk about here in a little bit, the story, Mark, that you've brought in tonight of a college student. Uh, maybe he's not a college student. Is he's a, a student. College, yep. He's a student. Okay. He's been banned from a certain part of campus because he looks like someone who was a rapist. Uh, not him, but he looks like someone like that. Uh, we'll share that with you here in a moment. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. And also want to let you know about our AMP shirt giveaway. The AMP program stands for Advertise, Market, and Promote. And the idea is you, if you support Free Talk Live, can uh, actually support us with dollars. And uh, coming soon, Bitcoin. That's not yet, not happening yet, but at some point. 
Uh, but right now, you can go to amp.freetalklive.com. You can sign up using any major credit card through PayPal. You can use Visa or MasterCard right on our website. You sign up for 5 bucks a month, you get perks like access to the AMP-only call-in lines, AMP-only podcast, the AMP-only Facebook group, and more. Go and get the details and get signed up at amp.freetalklive.com. And if you sign up as a platinum amplifier, which is the $25 per month uh, level, and you sign up as a Platinum by March 1st and stay a Platinum through at least May 1st, then you'll qualify to receive the very snazzy-looking AMP shirt. It's a long-sleeve shirt on tech-slash-wicking fabric, uh, which is uh, it's a good quality product. And it's got a word cloud design, so it's Free Talk Live amplifier shirt with our logo on it and also... Uh, there's the word cloud. You can see what I mean by going to shirt.freetalklive.com. That'll show you the actual uh, photos of the product there. But the word cloud is something you'll see frequently on websites where they show you words of different sizes based on how often those words are seen on the site. Well, we've got the same thing, except those words are plucked from our show description. So, What's how- the biggest one? Do you know? Bitcoin. Cool. Was it really? Yeah, there was uh, also... Um Cops is pretty big, and police is pretty big. ISIS is pretty big. State. No, yes. just were, were those like amped up? Uh, were those selected and, and chosen to um, make those bigger, or were those actually the terms that were used? The As most I understand on the site? it, um, the only thing that was sort of done was the uh, d- diminishment of like, sort of ordinary words and but or for oh, or okay. and yeah, things yeah, like yeah. that were removed right. from the, the, the scenario. Yeah. So, yeah, you can check out the shirt. Go to shirt.freetalklive.com. And if you want to qualify, become a uh, platinum. And that means you can upgrade. So if you're already a silver or gold amplifier, you can upgrade to platinum. Or if you're not an amplifier at all, you can just become a platinum over at amp.freetalklive.com by March 1st. And stay on through May 1st to qualify for that. And we'll uh, get you the details as that develops on how to collect your shirt. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. Ben is listening in Huntsville. Ben, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome, sir. Hey, go ahead. Question I have to ask you is, like, whenever I get into casual discussions with friends about politics, and I tend to have more libertarian tendencies and these kind of things, but when it, the conversation always seems to get redirected to, oh, the Koch brothers, you support the Koch brothers, yada, yada, yada. It's like, I've, and, you know, I've, I've heard them all the time on the mainstream news or on things like the Young Turks and stuff like that. Sure. And they always paint these grandiose pictures of how evil they are, and like, more ha, 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 the darn Koch brothers, and then being the perfect representations of libertarianism. And if you subscribe mm. to libertarian ideas, it's like, this is the kind of results that you're going to get, and yada, yada, yada. I wish the Koch brothers got a fair shake, though. These guys give a lot of money to a lot of organizations that, uh, you know, many liberals support, and they never say that. Um, the Republicans, it does seem to be the liberals who are saying the thing, these things the about brothers. the Koch brothers. But, uh, well, the George Soros thing was back with the, um, the right, conservatives. The, the righties will say the same stuff about George Soros. This is, uh, you know, this, this uh, vilification of rich individuals is done by both sides. It's a populist yep. tactic. The, the suggestion is, it's is also that, conspiracy theory as right. well. The suggestion is, is that people who are wealthy must have gotten that way by being bad and wrong. Um, now, I'm sure, I am sure the Koch brothers uh, you know, would like to see some policies in government that would be beneficial to them, and maybe beneficial to them more, more specifically than, um, say, beneficial to mankind. I don't know the answer to that. I just expect that from human beings. And so what I think is when people vilify, uh, you know, people like this is it says far more about them. Like, this is what I would do if I was wealthy. Right. Uh, Like I would use the political process to do this, that or the other, because they don't know a darn thing about the Koch brothers. How much time have they spent actually researching the Koch brothers? All I know about these guys is they're not libertarian enough for my tastes. I would quite frankly agree. And that, that's probably why they always seem to lump them in with Citizens United as well. Ben, I want to help you out here. Uh, how close are these friends of yours? Uh, not too close. You know, just more like, you know, sitting at the bar, kind of casual conversation stuff. Oh, okay. So you don't care what they really think. <laughs> not really. <laughs> okay. What were you going to say in well, case was, someone if, else if out they there? Do, yeah, if it. you do have close friends who you care about what they think about you and, and your ideas and you really want to share these with people— uh, I wanted to share with you something that has helped me, which is uh, Stefan Molyneux's against me argument. I know some people find that contentious, and uh, they might not think it's the best strategy. Uh, I'm just saying it's one strategy that has worked uh, with me in communicating these ideas. Where Are you familiar with this idea, Ben? 
Uh, yeah, the Stefan Molyneux is basically the idea where he says, uh, you know, I think the example that he used in one of his YouTube videos was like, oh, you're for the, 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 per, the surge in the Iraq war? That's great. You know, get the soldiers, get them all together, get them lined up, do the surge. I'm all for it. You pay for it. And, it's, and he says, well, it's like, well, now it's like, I want you, okay, well, then if you say that you don't want to pay for it, that obviously means that you want me to pay for it by force. You've or got it. It's a variant on it, but as I understand it, as I understand my re- recollection of Molyneux's pitch on this, it was more like, "Oh, well, would you be willing to use force against me to that's get what me it, to fund your program?" Yeah, that's really what it comes down to. Make is, it personal. Yeah, you're talking about me. You're you're not talking about the Koch brothers because people will want to uh, divert the attention away from you and and making this personal when really this is a very personal conversation this is about your money your life and the, the way we're all uh treating each other as human beings on this planet so if they want to just vilify these ideas as oh there are some uh, angry rich people out there who are making the world a bad place and ignore that they're having this conversation with you in a bar um you know uh, over real money, real issues. Uh, I just like to make it personal when possible, if you care about these people. But if not, just drink and have fun with them. Uh, that's that's why I try to keep up. But I do like, you know, political discussions and stuff like that. You know, I try not to get it too heated and everything. Ben, anything else you want to share tonight? No, that's all. Thank Thanks you for the very call, much. man. I appreciate it. Toll-free number tonight, 855-450-FREE. Mark, what college? Where is this happening? Who's in trouble? Well, they're not entirely clear on which college it is because is it coming it's, from? it's coming from uh, the um, uh, the fire people? National, National Review. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I was actually looking something up that, uh, that the gentleman was talking about that kind of made me interested. Anyway, going on with the National Review here. Yeah. A student at a liberal arts school in Oregon was reportedly banned from going anywhere on campus that a fellow student would be because he looked like the person who had raped her. He's a he's a walking trigger warning. Hmm. <laughs> Professor Janet Haley, this is, uh, by the way, written for National Review by uh, Catherine Timpf. Uh, Professor Janet Haley wrote in a piece for Harvard Law Review that she had recently assisted a student who had been ordered to stay away from a fellow student cutting him off from his housing, his campus job, and educational opportunity, all because he reminded her of the man who had raped her months before and thousands of miles away. Wow. Did they give him a refund, too, uh, because he can't actually use his education? This is American colleges and uh, males are second-class citizens there. Hmm. Sorry. They're rapey. Uh, The accusation also had to endure a month-long investigation Excuse me, the accused had to uh, endure a month-long investigation into his campus relationships, seeking information about his possible sexual misconduct with them. Just because he looked like some rapist? That's exactly right. Well, if he looks like a rapist, then we should investigate him. She's like, that's my rapist! That's him! (laughs) And, uh, you know, no, 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 it's not him. Close enough! Keep him away from me! (laughs) You know, how much longer are we going to put up these trigger warning stuffs before anyone says, uh... Suck it up. Now, I've seen this trigger warning thing on the internet. I thought it was a meme. Is this actually coming from something? Yeah, this is a real thing. College professors can't use certain words in their classrooms because all the students are like, oh, that's a trigger warning. you got to tell can't me more about this here in a moment. Uh, 855-450 free. I'm out of the loop on the trigger warning. It's Free Talk Live. More coming up. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. <laughs> This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. Free Talk Live is partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. 
By now, you may have heard a bit about Bitcoins. But did you know Bitcoins are now over an $8.5 billion market? And did you know that over 65,000 businesses now accept Bitcoins? Listen, if you're already earning Bitcoins or trying to make money in the Bitcoin market, you've got to know BidBit.co. Why? Because BidBit.co is where you can easily receive Bitcoins by selling and auctioning off your own personal items or promote business products and services for Bitcoins. You heard right. Whether personal or business, you can now buy, sell, and auction auction your products and services quickly, easily, and securely for Bitcoin at BidBit.co, the first and only marketplace website to offer BidBit escrow, a proprietary technology which gives buyers and sellers security and peace of mind because all transactions are protected. Start today. It's free to join, free to post, free to auction, and free to bid at BidBit.co. Buy, sell, bid, or auction everything Bitcoin. That's www.bidbit.co. BidBit.co. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keen. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keen. Keen is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Are you tired of governments murdering people around the world? Stop using their money. There is an alternative. Bitcoin is a stateless, free market, non-political currency. Bitcoin cannot be inflated or controlled by any government. By using their money, you are helping the state. Stop doing it. You have an incredible alternative available now. Learn it. Use it. Spread it. Get started with Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. You're listening to the best liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live. You can take control here toll-free, though uh, trigger warning, talking about freedom could upset people. I don't know if I'm really getting the trigger. Yeah, you got it. Okay, good. So uh, there's apparently I went to knowyourmeme.com and there's a little bit here about these trigger warnings, which I've seen all over the place in memes these days. And it's just kind of it's a funny meme. Um, But I guess it came from, you know, some serious posts from some people on LiveJournal in the early 2000s where LiveJournal users started posting warnings for potentially triggering fan fiction. On July 9, 2002, Live Journal user Innocent warned followers that she was pro anorexia, adding that entries may be, quote, triggering to those with eating disorders. On July 1, 20, uh, 2003, Live Journal user Morbid Thoughts submitted a quiz titled, What Type of Self Mutilation Are You? Warning, Triggering Pictures. By 2007, Trigger Warning was used over 60 times on the blogging platform. On November 2nd of 2008, Twitter user at Jay Landreth tweeted a link to a blog accompanied uh, by the phrase trigger warning, and they cite some of these things. So apparently there's a bit of a history here. When I was a kid, they'd uh, have these uh, television specials, and they would warn you that there might be some adult material. Sure. Viewer discretion Ooh-wee. is advised. That's the one to watch Absolutely. There. Yeah, let's see this one. <laughs> right. What do they got in here? <laughs> you know, I- Absolutely, that's what I was interested in watching, was Mm -hmm. whatever that adult material might be. Um, 
So the idea, but just I think to bring that, us back around, this was about the college student who's been banned from a part of campus, and among other things, because he might trigger. He is a walking trigger. <laughs> well, he is triggering her. Like, this lady, apparently, see, like, this is really important, is your level of offense, even if it's a triggering level of offense, doesn't, uh, you know, like, your rights end at my nose. You don't get to stop where I go and that sort of thing. Unless you're on a college campus, apparently. In this circumstance, this young man was... A, Who's a know, student at yeah, this college. Yeah, he's a, he's a student. She's a student. She says, that's my rapist. Turns out, not your rapist. Your rapist, uh, this was years ago and thousands of miles away. This guy, not your rapist. Well, keep him away from me. <laughs> and... And so this guy's not allowed to go. Like it affects where he's like his housing. Uh, it affects him going to his housing, and his classes, and his education. And look, his- lady. I mean, look. I, it's not like I don't take rape seriously. It's a serious thing, no doubt. But if you're going to expect that you can have this level of protection in real life, you need to get you need to get with the program here. Because as soon as you get off that college campus, there's not going to be anybody around to protect you from men who look like or have a resemblance to your rapist. They well, are- then you could just go online. You can get on Tumblr and uh, you know be a real jerk to, about men. Um, you know that's there's- fine. I'm just what my point is is this 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 lady's living in this cloistered world of academia where the rules are completely different from the rest of reality. I mean, yeah, the police state's bad, but I don't expect. That them to uh, at any point restrict this man from walking down the street because he looks like this guy. Um, we've uh, read stories here about how uh, you know young men on that basically rape accusations on college campuses don't require the same amount of evidence that um, mm. you know they do in real life, and that's a little disturbing, right? Like you're gonna decide somebody's a rapist based on less evidence beyond yeah, a reasonable good. doubt. Um, so you know that's disturbing. Anyway, believe it or not, it gets worse, according to uh, the article here at National Review. Even after this invasive investigation completely cleared him of any wrongdoing, he still wasn't allowed to go anywhere, um, anywhere where the student would be without risking punishment from the school. The stay away order remained in place and was so broadly drawn up that he was at a constant risk of violating it and coming under discipline for that, the piece continues. According to Haley, uh, this was in the uh, a law review. Um, this is an Harvard attorney who posted somewhere about yeah. her experience working with this young man. Right. So we don't have his name. We have some we don't redacted even, information. Yeah, we don't even have the name of the school. So I don't like that we don't have that information, yep. but it, it, it is what it is. It, it was in the law review. Yeah. So, according to Haley, the only way the accused student eventually learned of the source of the complaint against him, he didn't even know who it was, wow. was uh, by accident and offhand. It's devastating to think of a student being unable to walk around camp- campus without having to risk being traumatized by reminders of her rape, but restricting a totally innocent student by walking around campus um, because he looks like that person who raped her is obviously unacceptable. He doesn't even know who she is. Wow. He can't go where his accuser is and doesn't know who she is. <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's like Kafka runs the school. It's crazy. So I just thought it was uh, another fascinating thing here uh, in this world where it, at some point this pendulum's going to swing back. Right? To what? It's going to get – this is – like at some point people are going to care less about rape. But like it's the the, the pendulum squeezes. So. Well, this is what happens. You you cry wolf so many times that people are like, she's ah, whatever. She's not crying wolf. She's just crying trigger. I mean she she's not but saying people she, are listening no one's saying to she her. didn't get raped, right? Like right. she Nobody's did actually saying that. Raped. But do you – under look, that's not what I'm saying. Yeah. And listen to the words coming out of my mouth. I'm not saying go around and rape people. That's not what I'm, I'm saying. I'm not saying you're saying that. I'm you saying you, she was the pendulum wolf. swings in society. And when it swings too far, then it swings back because people are like, this has gone too far. Has this gone too far, Ian? Oh, absolutely. Then yeah. how? Well, then what's going to happen in the future? Yeah, I can find myself even being affected by this uh, because I, I want to be sensitive to people and their um, emotions. And uh, I take some effort to be respectful of that. But at this point, I'm just so done and sick with the trigger warning stuff. I, I don't even care anymore. Like, I don't want to be sensitive. I don't, I'm just like... I don't have the time for this. Everyone's triggered by anything. I mean, there are some college campuses where they're they're putting trigger warnings before the Great Gatsby. 
because because well, there's alcohol consumption <laughs> and you know there there's sexual uh, you know there's sexual things in Catcher in the wow. Rye. So I mean, it's so ridiculous. You mean now. the book or the movie? The, the Great book Gatsby. I'm talking wow. about. The well, college campuses are so restrained now because of these trigger warnings. It's true. Such nonsense. Herman Mailer was on NPR talking about his new book, Trigger Warning, because he doesn't believe that trigger warnings should be put in front of literature, and he's right. It's yeah, absolutely it's insane. And uh, you know, this is uh, it's it's just the the, the Molly coddling of a generation. Yeah, I, I mean, I understand where you're coming from, where you think it's going to swing backwards in some direction, but I don't know if I agree. I mean, if you look at let's look at other warnings, okay? So like warnings on products that you buy, those haven't gone away. They just get more absurd and ridiculous over time. I mean, you can find list after list of all these absolutely ludicrous product safety warnings that would seem so common sense that everybody should know not to you know mix this with this and not to light this aerosol can on fire. You know, all kinds of stuff like that. That hasn't gotten lessened over time. It's, no. There's as much of it as ever. No, the warnings themselves don't go away, but people's uh, the way people respond to them do, right? Because you oh, see, they ignore all, them. Yes, exactly. Yeah. When uh, the, to Mark's point about crying wolf, this is what happens when you over. I see. Uh, emphasize that oh my gosh everything's a trigger everything needs to be warned against people pay attention to zero warnings that makes more sense i thought he was saying she was crying wolf about rape well i'm not claiming she's crying wolf about rape i'm claiming that she's you know like the the whole idea that this guy's got to stay away from her is absolutely insane yeah like she may not want him near her there's all kinds of people i don't want near me for all kinds of she should be the one who has to leave the school absolutely she should be in uh, off she campus needs treatment housing or something she absolutely does I mean and this is another point I'd like to make is is that when uh, is sexual assault different than any other other assault ultimately assault is assault right like people have been assaulted but we put this high premium on sexual assault and that causes I think it's different yeah I think it's different because it causes severe intimacy issues uh, from what why I've does seen. it do that though is the question I'm asking you why doesn't the other assault do um you know why do you know if I got yeah. bear hugged and it broke my ribs why wouldn't I feel the same way about hugs in the future it's because we put this emphasis on the special spots in our bodies like culturally okay. there's a real importance there and I think that that's really damaging to people like the whole molly coddling them about this issue I'm not saying you shouldn't be sensitive but it's at some point it goes too far yeah it makes people who are fragile like the the put up on some pedestal like we should all just be so fragile right isn't that some virtue no I, I want people to be strong and be able to take a joke be able to take a, you know serious discussion well they and should if be you, able to challenge their minds i agree and if you look at rape victims you'll see they go in different directions yes. not all of them are like whoa is me some of them they kind of they reorient their lives and they're like i'm going to do everything i can to stop people from you know experiencing this i want to counsel people that have gone through this and some of them you know they are stronger people because of it i'm not saying you should get raped or anything like that but i'm just saying that not everybody goes in that direction of uh, feeling like a victim afterwards. Some people I would say that the majority don't, you know, the majority sort of get over it and, you know, go on with their lives and that sort of thing. It's the ones that just seem to dwell in it that... Yeah, uh, that make know, it their identity. That it make, looks so awful. It like, looks like it's such a, a terrible victim experience. for the rest of my life, to live into that victimhood for all the rest of your life. That's right. sad. Man. And, uh, you know, the fact is is that anybody can be raped at any time. Yeah. And it's, it, you know, it's very sad, but it's just the way it is. You, you know, you can't fight off two or three people if that's what they want to do. We are out of time for tonight, but don't forget to join Derek J on his website at Derek Eric J.me. You can go there anytime you want. And don't forget, he's got Flaming Freedom Thursday nights, 10 o'clock Eastern Time, over at flamingfreedom.com and lrn.fm. We'll see you tomorrow night online in the meantime at freetalklive.com. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean.